Oh, it's it's that's so okay. Good. That's okay. The messier the better. The messier the better. It's going to that's it, that's it. Oh my god. This is like right? it flowed down so easily. Mm. Doubles is not a pristine thing, it's a messy thing. It's a messy thing. Wow. But when you're eating with your hands, that's where you get the true flavor residing. Look at that. Look at you boy, you are Trini boy now. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> Welcome to Tobago, one of the most beautiful islands in the Caribbean. Today I'm going to take you to eat fried chicken, spearfish for lying fish in no man's land, and eat amazing seafood barbecue. From here we're flying back to Trinidad for some Chinese Trini cuisine, extreme doubles everywhere, Venezuelan food, oh, and even Indian sweets. Let's go to Trinidad and Tobago. I can't wait to go in the water. Yeah, I hope you guys get ready to get wet. It's gonna be, it's gonna be great. Strange enough, on this side of the island, um, it's looking pretty good. This morning up on the other side, the Atlantic was kind of rough. Um, but like we said, because of the island is shipped, on this side is pretty calm, and it looks pretty clear as well, so we hope to at least get um, a lion fish or two. <laughs> so which is the boat, this one? Um, the, 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 the one after the colored one. The one after the colored one, perfect. The frontier one. So this guy is David Antonio, he's gonna teach me how to use the spear gun. You have a spear gun here. Special tip is just for lionfish. Right? That's just for lionfish, huh? Most times, yeah. It looks like like one of these uh, trident uh, staff, right? Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Should we cock it? Yeah. Good. All right, just wrap the string. It's so stiff, good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you pull the lever. Okay, pull the lever. All the way back. Okay. Of course, make sure you see yeah. it properly. Yeah, so when I'm ready, I cock and then I go in and shoot, right? Yeah. Make sure it's all clear from danger, safety. Uh -huh. And you, 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 of course, get your proper aim. Yeah. Trigger. If you want, you could put your hand slight to keep your balance. Okay. Ready for the fire? Yeah. Awesome. See, it wouldn't be that far. So bad, but with one hand, yeah. hard. You caught it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that was hard. <laughs> With one hand, really hard. Whoa, the waves coming in. Thumbs up. When we're in the water, we do like this. Yeah. What happens is that as, as, as divers, this means this is everything positive. Yeah. And this means up. So from today, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, all that. You, anybody here, you see, hey, where are we going, man? Mango show? Nine out of ten, he's a diver. Because all divers, this is up, this is down. This is something is yeah, wrong. Yeah, this is something is wrong. <laughs> if I do so. Yes. Yeah, time to eat. Yeah. <laughs> I see a fish. Yeah. <laughs> Sign up, you always tend to be aware of it. Shark. Shark. Oh my god. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. So, what do we have here, Jason? So, we have a pigtail and cow heel soup. You know, we last time we tried to get pigtail and it sold out. Mm -hmm. We're actually getting a soup with pigtail and cow heels here. Cow heels, incredibly gelatinous. And of course, a brilliant uh, soup on the island. Just by the trotters of the cow. Uh -huh. Incredibly gelatinous, as you can see, that brilliant, nice, gooey gumminess on there. Insane. Look at that. You're gonna love this. You see a huge bone, all jello. Let's go. Oh my gosh. So good. Mmm. The pieces of pumpkin there, right? Mm hmm. Oh my gosh. Nice chunky soup. Mm -hmm. Thick. Thick soup. Mm hmm. This is like a gumbo. Mm. Well, I in it, eh? Tomorrow might be four pound dumpling. Hey! Oh my god. Who knows? Mm, get some of this bone marrow right here. Mm. It's too good. The hospitality is always present here today. I just can't get enough of the deliciousness. That's the big toe is insane. That's the heel, right? The cow heels. Cow the blubber. Oh wow. That's experience. Oh my god, it is. <laughs> it's totally unexpected. Mm -hmm. I guess it's like a, like a prelude to greatness, right? Mm -hmm. A little appetizer, some soup. Right, I think it's good. Oh, blue oil. Alright, guys, so like you're saying that it's really, really deep. Something like 15 meters down there. So I'm gonna do my best to get as low as I can. If I can't get. The shot, he's gonna get the fish. We found two of them. Okay, ready? Okay. We did it! Don't be 
Yeah. <laughs> you got me right in front, man. Yeah. <laughs> so we we're very fortunate. We got two lionfish. We also got some other fish. Going down there was insane. I mean, super, super murky. I had to go on his second line and the whole time equalizing, the entire time going all the way to the bottom. Once I got there, it was like right there, two or three feet away. Shot it, got it. I missed the head. I got him in the back a little bit. It's okay, right? <laughs> What'd you got? What'd you get? Oh, you got a bunch of fish? Woo, you got two lionfish. And another fish. Oh, wow. Breadfruit is his natural form. So we're gonna be uh, cooking this. How you slit, you slit it open, season it, garlic inside. It's really delicious. It's many different ways you bake it, roast it. You're having it fried right now. Absolutely phenomenal, man. Delicious. Oh, wow. Can you imagine this? So we're gonna This is an assortment. It also falls under the category of provision. The starches. The starches. There you go. Right now we're heading to No Man's Land. No Man's Land is actually a peninsula. But because nobody lives there, we call it No Man's Land. Now on the way to No Man's Land, we'll be passing our most famous beach in Tobago. It's called Pigeon Point. Once you pass Pigeon Point, you have South Beach. Okay. Right, South Beach is where most of the, of the sporting activities taking place. You can actually see windsurfing, oh, wow. kiting, and further up, you can see all the reef boats, all the glass bottom boats. Mm. They will also end up on No Man's Land. Amazing. That's, that's part of their tour. Right? So this is one of the most popular beaches. We have um, lots of jazz events here. We have fashion events here. As a matter of fact, later on in this month, we have um, a few a few events we taking place right here as well. All right, guys, we made it to no man's land. We got the boat. It's time to cook up this feast. The best thing to do is just dive in. Oh, right there. Beautiful. Ah, yes. You good? No man's land. No man's land, let's go. Wow, it is so hot. The sun is... This, this is what we call Bonacord Lagoon. Let's walk this way. The fish come up inside this lagoon mm -hmm. and they, they spawn, they lay the eggs and they come out here and come out into the reef. Oh, wow. Oh, super warm. Yeah, it's warm here. And if you run on the other side... It's amazing. Yeah, you feel how cool it is, right? Yeah, because I mean, it's great. The, the area is lined with, with, with mangrove trees and the red mangroves so, all the way around. No man's land, basically. Empty island, completely empty. Here we have a small little hut and they have some sweets for sale. And over here they're cooking up some corn, corn on the cob, and also some barbecue chicken. The barbecue chicken is good. It looks really nice. So we got here is coconut fudge, as local as it become. Peanut also. Peanut is definitely my favorite. You got the nut brittle, nut cake. Mm -hmm. This is uh, nuts uh, toasted and done in a caramel, almost like a cake. Oh, I love this. Really, really nice. Really great brittle. Ten for everything, right? Ten for everything. That's what well, not said. everything, but each. The price ten. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, should so try the tamarind balls. Tamarind balls. Tamarind. These are really tart and sweet at the same time. It's really great. I think it's really unique to Trinidad okay. and Tobago. Tobago especially because of the tamarind. Mm -hmm. Fresh tamarind. So look at that. Preserved red mango. Red mango. You would love this stuff. The skin is left on it. Bright red color preserved sometimes for weeks into months. A nice balance of sweet, spiced flavor inside there. A little spicy. All right, so David, we're gonna try the tamarind balls. So uh, genuine and authentic of uh, Tobago to do this. Peanut fudge. And we're gonna try the, is it not brittle? Yeah. They're not brittle. This is gonna be epic, so let's go. Total price is 10 TT per, right? So each one's 10 TT. So uh, roughly so like a dollar and 50 cents US per item. Per item. So you're looking at uh, $10 each, 10 TT each. That's $30. We have three items. Here you go, sir. Thank, thank you. you so much, sir. Yeah, man. Appreciate it. Thank you as well. I appreciate it. No, thank you. All right, we're starting off with some peanut. Oh, peanut fudge. How do you even open this? <laughs> like dense. They, they, they do really unique fudges here. Peanut is definitely one of them. Mmm. Oh, yeah. We should get another one of this for. Mm hmm. This is nice. I think it's home. Let me hear your feedback on this. Oh, man. You just take a little piece, though. A little piece? Yeah. Oh, man, it's like falling apart. Just break it just like that. No, no, right? it's just crumbly. Yeah. Mmm. It's full of your explosion, right? Mm hmm. It's a crazy amount of sugar. Yeah. So it, it balances off the tartness in the tamarind. Mm hmm. So it's a space that made it roll together mm -hmm. and then dusted with sugar. Look at that. It's like caramel, right? Like this, like super hard. Beautiful toasted nuts on top. Look at that. Truly unique local sweets. Ah, there you go. Tell me what you're tasting first. What's the spice you got? Get that ginger coming through, right? Mm -hmm. That's that warmth. The nuts are toasted. So it's the ginger. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Is there coconut as well in here? A little bit of coconut. You have shards of coconut inside here also. Mm -hmm. It's like the best of everything in one little bite, right? There's so many Nuts, flavors. coconut, sugar, mm -hmm. cinnamon, ginger. Nice and nutty. 
I mean, well, so we want to enjoy good sweets. So as we just came on to no man's land, get some good sweets. I saw the cook. Oh my gosh, the bagel. I got an mm. It's like sweet, pungent. Mm hmm Nutty. Oh my gosh. Pineapple salsa here. Pineapple salsa? Yeah. Uh, pineapple chow. You know what I mean? Mm hmm To go along. And right over here, he's starting the fire. Cutting up some wood. I get a pineapple chow. Yeah. When you're on the beach, you know? Mm-hmm, of course. Especially with the scenery out here. Yeah. You mind if I grab a piece? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you're on the beach, you have to get. Oh, what are you guys doing? Mm. When you're on the beach, mm. you must get pineapple chow. Oh, it's pineapple. Guys, it's so fresh. That seems to be the theme. Mm. <laughs> so juicy. It's barbecue chicken, guys. Mmm. Yeah. Sweet barbecue. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, yeah. But they just fall bone. The land fish has these spines, they have 13 poisonous spines. They're not poisonous to kill you, right? It's a high concentration of protein. A high concentration of protein is actually inside here. Now you could actually rub your hand like this. Look at this, right? <laughs> but don't do it in the opposite direction. <laughs> oh, it's spiny. Yeah. And what's that stick you? <laughs> That's it. Now what happened is that the first thing you really do is remove the spines, right? But what happened to them, there are ways to actually do this, to be moved, to actually get around all of that. Right? Oh, just to show you the scales, right? These here, if you look at, you could scale it to the back of your knife. Mm -hmm. You just do this, this, yeah, look at the scales, they're easily removed. Wow. You could use a spoon and do it. <laughs> you could even use a spoon. So right? that easy? It's that easy. And the scales don't really fly all over the place. Right? Yeah, it's easier than the other scales. Yeah, it's easier than the other scales. It's real easy. Yeah, whenever I go to a fish market, they start taking off the scales, the scaling, and it's just like popping all over the all place. Over you know, they're just flying in the air. This is easy. Yeah, this wow, is look easy. at that. Whoa, beautiful underlayer, right? Yeah, look at the nice pattern on the line fish. Isn't this beautiful? It's beautiful. Look, look at the pattern on this. Mm -hmm. right? I'm actually using the back of the knife to actually do this. Now, sometimes they actually use these, this, these parts of the, the fins to actually make like earrings for women. Um, and that type of thing, earrings and jewelry. You put the, the, the put the, the stuff to dry in the sun, mm -hmm. and and you actually get to use it to, to do different things. In case you guys don't know, lionfish are an invasive species. What does that mean? Well, there's just way too many of them, so it's allowed to be caught at any given moment. So whenever they want, they can go out there. It doesn't matter the size, yeah. small, large. You're allowed to catch yes, them. Yes, right? yeah, because they, they they damage, they destroy the reef. They eat anything that could fit in their mouths. Course. Anything that could fit in the mouth, they eat. So it's really allowed to actually we harvest them anytime. As long as we see them, you encourage to actually harvest yeah. them. As a matter of fact, the, the eating of the lionfish is, is supposed to be um, encouraged as one of the ways to help um, get rid of them. Exactly. And if you guys don't know, I'm from Miami. In Florida, we have ingu iguanas are invasive. We have rock python. We have Burmese python. They're all invasive. Water monitors, all invasive. So now we're allowed to catch all of them, you know? Yeah. Because they're destroying our ecosystem. So what I'm, I'm going to fill a one, and I'm going to leave the big one whole. Like when I say whole, just just take off the fins, mm -hmm. so we'll be able to cook it just like that, you know. Yeah. And look at it, it's white. Yeah, it's beautiful. You come now, and you run your knife and just Up. straight to the back, yeah. all the way to the top. All the way to the top. You need a spine in there. Yeah. You know, we, we we also got this small one. Yeah. And that's nice white. Meat. So, so Dave, we're gonna eat the lionfish. Just raw with some lime. We're gonna try it with a little lime. It's the green. You want some lime on this? Yeah. Just raw. Mmm. <laughs> fresh. Mm -hmm. A little tough. Mm -hmm. yeah. But still really fresh. Mmm. Mm. Nice to stir up lime, huh? Mmm. Mm -hmm. Good. What are you guys doing here? Nice trying to do some Good sushi. Thing. Sashimi? Yeah. So he's using the lime to just uh, acidify it and obviously help it safe to be safe for consumption. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look how it has yeah. a nice shine on that, beautiful resplendence. Yeah. Come on, take a Mmm, that's really good. Mm -hmm. It's really delicious. When you're doing this, you want to almost a little bit ripe, not too full, so at least it will be able to cook evenly. If you want to make his slashes into the bread, breadfruit like that. Today we're going to be using some. Uh, garlic, some shadow and benny and some chives inside there. After we roast it, we put some fresh butter. So I have some garlic here. Take these. Just put them in. And I just put them into the slits like that. And as it roasts, 
It just infuses with flavor. It's gonna roast just like that, huh? Pretty much. We just put some thyme inside there. Just, mm. So as the heat hits it, you're pretty good to go. So we have our garlic and thyme inside there. Just gonna put it on the fire just like that. Let's go. So we take it just like this, we put it on top there. Now this is gonna take about 20 to 25 minutes and you turn it as you go. Maybe like about 15 minutes on each side. And what's gonna happen is that it's gonna to start to infuse with that smoky flavor inside there. And the garlic, the thyme, all those great aromatics are just going to really do a great job. This is bay laurel or bay leaf. And this is going to add significant flavor inside there also. Put it into the fire. And all of this is just like really herbal extraction to allow flavor to exude. Wow. I've never seen this before in my life, man. Breadfruit like this is roasting a breadfruit. It's so Caribbean. It's so Caribbean with the bay leaves and everything right here. We just opened, started a fire on a rock. Good music in the background. Good sea sand air. Good food, good music. Good people. Yeah, and soon. The lionfish, why is it so invasive? The lionfish is um, almost similar to the, the, how the way the grouper operates. It's a sucking fish, right? It doesn't bite or chew. It just swallows everything whole. Take a look inside here. So when it opens, it just sucks everything down mm. and swallows it whole, right? That's how the lionfish actually operates. So the reason you cut off the bottom, those spines, is because they are poisonous. There's 13 of them, you said, right? Yeah, 13 of them. 13 of them, so you have to cut them all off. Yeah. So that's the salt we're using? Yep. The sea salt. Yeah. You see, you make the slit so the salt actually got the sea salt goes into it. Right? So that's where we actually do this. So you have the slits inside here. Mm -hmm. Right? And then we dip it in the salt. So it looks like a fish, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go. Oh, I can't wait, man. I can't wait. Let's do this. It's going to be so good. So we have Antonio. Which part are you Right here? Anyway, let's find the time. Yeah, that's, that's, how we do it. that's how you normally do it, huh? Yeah. So basically, the most undressed, simplistic way, put it inside straight from the water into the fire. It has a salt, natural salt inside of it. You don't really need much after that. The bay leaves, the coconut husk, pretty much is going to flavor it really well. Yeah, the coconut husk is basically the way, you know, dried coconut shells, right? Correct, yeah. And then you shove it into the fire, and that is your wood. That and is your main, your main fire source. Mm -hmm. You have the bay leaves inside, as you know, it's going to flavor it. You get a nice punch of flavor coming through. Herbalistic in nature. It's as simple as it is, organic. We're in the Caribbean, that's how we do it. Simple and refreshing. It's amazing. So this is the fisherman's way. The fisherman's way. They don't you think scale it. Have to that because on the fire, it will just melt, yes. uh, basically. Yeah. So you got the fillets? You could take a little season. Mm -hmm. What fish is this? Squirrel fish. Squirrel fish. Yeah. So we didn't dip it in the salt, but that's okay. Get him on the good. Lime fish is ready. A lime, I have um, you have a leaf? Right here. Yeah, right. right here on the floor, right in front. You season with the sea water of Tobago, man. It's amazing. So how do we start? Tactile approach. We just go in inside there. So let's right. start to break this fish apart. It's right there. And you would see the flesh is incredibly soft at this point in time. It's flaky. Oh, so soft. It's brilliant. And I'm excited. This is going to be amazing. Lionfish. I caught it. Yeah, you did, right? The, it's sweeter that way. It's amazing. My first shot in like 15 years and I got it. Mmm. Super fresh, man. Mmm. The chives. The lemon. Try that whole piece. Mm. These are some nicer charred pieces. Look at that. Baby. Incredible. Beautiful mm. stuff. A little charred. So buttery, man. The sea, so fresh. Mm. Love it out here. Good music. Good the Caribbean. Food. Try some of the pineapple. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The citrus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's just like a, a chow, right? Yeah, nice pineapple, tomato, chow. Mm -hmm. So you got a little compliment there. It reminds me of like a fruit ceviche. Right. Oh, then we got our breadfruit chips. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Charred, a little dense. And Perfect. this is all off the land and the ocean, right? Yeah. All natural. All natural. Not bad at all. What a feast. Mm -hmm. island meal, right? Mm -hmm. I just the fish a while ago. Pineapple harvested, breadfruit roasted. All on grape leaves. We did that all like in two hours. No man's land. That's natural and fresh. That's what Tobago is all about. Mm. Oh man. I'll tell you, I've had like yucca chips, two potato fries. These are the ultimate, man. These are the best. 
Yeah, healthy. You got the crushed limes from the island? Mm-hmm. Look at that. <laughs> I have to, I have to, have to dive in for another piece. So good, guys. Look at this beautiful lime fish. Mmm, so fresh. Guys, pineapple really does complement it well, right? Mm-hmm. So topical. Mmm. A combination here. And you remember this was cooked on the coconut husk, right? On the bean leaves? Mm hmm So you get a flavor coming through inside there. Mm-hmm. Coconut flavor. That's the best way to cook. I feel like it's one of the ultimate. It's healthy also, right? Mm hmm Sometimes you put a little bit of olive oil on top of this. Sorry, do you want it? No problem. Do you put it <laughs> mm. We did it, Dave. We did it. Guys, good job. It's funny because they were like, I don't know if we're going to see any lime fish. It's a little murky out there. I was like, no, nah, we're going to see one. At least one. We got three. You really can't domesticate the fish, right? They work on their own time. Exactly. They work on island time. So island time. <laughs> exactly. You can't come to Begu, come on no man's land, and you haven't been to Nylon Pool. Nylon Pool? So, Nylon Pool, he said, once you get there, once you get into the water, you get 10 years younger. So I hope you have an ID card because you won't be able to recognize you. <laughs> it's too funny, it's too funny. So that nylon pool is right over here. So as you can see, all these are like touristic boats, right? So people come out here, you pay a fee, you come out, these boats have a glass bottom so you can see the bottom, you can see the coral. And over there, right at the very end, as you can see those waves coming in, that's where the nylon pool is. So the nylon pool is over there. We're gonna jump right back on the boat. It's still like 1.30, so we'll probably be out there for like 30 minutes. And then we'll go back and see more of the island. After that good meal, let's dip in no man's land. I feel so good. I mean, the water is so great. You can't be too big over that. Just hop in the water and I'm happy. You don't need, no, excuse me, food and water. It's actually perfect that we waited until after we ate to go to Nanampo because everybody here was just there and they came to eat on this island. Yeah, it's just so many people. All right, boat time. Woo, we get on here. Nanampo, let's go. Yeah, we made it. We did it. That's so cool, man. That's an island boy. <laughs> That's amazing. I want to get one of those. That's amazing. The Nylon Pool is a shallow area right here in the island of Tobago where you could actually stand in the middle of, come out of a boat and stand in the middle of the ocean. It was called the Nylon Pool and in the 60s. It was given the name by um, Princess Margaret. This is Queen, um, Queen Elizabeth's sister. When she came here, she, when she came, she remarked that, wow, the water is clear. It's like a nylon stocking. After that, we got the name nylon. Just dive in. You know the sand here is actually mineral. It's excellent for exfoliation. Just pick some up from the bottom of the water. And there you go. You pay a lot of money for this in the spas. You get a natural head in Ireland. Look at that. Natural exfoliant. Jump in. That's it. Yeah, Let's lower myself here. Woo, gotta be careful. Just, just take your time, eh? Slowly. Um, yeah. Uh, we're good, we're good. I was nervous, because some parts are very, very deep, some are shallow. But that's it, we did it. We did an incredible adventure today. I mean, it was epic. What did we do? Oh my God, we went up to Karawak Village. We shot, the, well, you shot those lionfish. We went straight to No Man's Land, where we cooked it up, we roasted that breadfruit, we made that tomato pineapple salsa. Dave was a champ 
I mean, the stuff is brilliant. Cooked up a feast for us. Went to the nylon pool, exfoliated a little bit, took in the sights. We're back on the kitchen for right now. Our adventure is over. Yep, island life. You, you, you made it back, and we're really happy. I mean, I'm really glad that you made that shot. I mean, you went down, I think it was close to 40 feet. I think so. You went down, and your hand was steady as a rock, and you made the shot, and hey, because of you, we had lionfish today. This one is lucky, see? Right? Mm-hmm. This is the bamboo, this is the weed, you see this is shell, all this is shell, this is seed, this is shell. You get ordinary beads and this is amakai beads. Same thing and we have this amakai extract too. This so Candice, what do you think? This is from the nail from the house. Maybe like this, right? Yeah. Really. This is beautiful. So the shells, huh? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I like this. Also, yeah, some beautiful little earrings, huh? These are from this, this is sea fan. That's a sea fan? Yeah, yeah, it's quite a sea fan. Sea yeah. fan. Wow. Yeah, it's a piece of coral thing. When would you think we ate with this morning, the bowls? That's what it's made out of, huh? You get, well, you know this is stag and the yellow These are known as donkey eye, or donkey seed. So what we'll do as kids, we'll take these seeds, we rub it on the ground for about 15, 20 times extremely fast. And it gets very hot. And it gets extremely hot. And then you'll go and press it against someone and burn them. This stuff is unique to Trinidad and Tobago. So when the rest of the world sees it and they come here and they check her out, they're going to be amazed at her arts and crafts and the amazing things. So you guys, all over the world, Switzerland, Brazil, Thailand, come here, check out these amazing crafts that we got here in Tobago. I love it. What are the cost of these two? This is 60 for one, and this is 60, 60 and 60. Perfect. I think it's a great deal. Beautiful necklace, 40 TT. Yeah. Beautiful. So this is what I'm taking for my kids. My two daughters are going to love this. So bracelet and necklaces. So 160 TT, perfect. I think it's a great deal. Less than 30 bucks. I mean, it's, you know, this is Tobago, and it that, shells. That too much money. Oh, too much money. Too much money. You got. It. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Look, guys. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, man. I love this one, by the way. So this is. I think it's like the same calabash, like what same we ate today. Same Mm-hmm. It's just like a bigger belly. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see the design. Oh, so you have that one too? Yeah, yeah calabash here. Yeah. It's all calabash. If you don't want to get married, you put this over your head. So I saw some in Trinidad that are like very, very small, beautiful masks, but he does have some over here. Man, that that's art right there. Oh, wow. To do that. All right, guys, I'm taking this one home. It's my boy Brandon. You're so funny, my man. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My only best, yeah. Thank you, thank you. So nice, so nice. Let's go. All right, guys, let's continue. We're gonna see some more sights. Guys, look at this beautiful beach. And the sun is setting. Look at that. So pretty. Okay, let's walk down. Gotta be careful. Wow, this is Tobago. Hey, beautiful. I mean, the beauty sights are always around us here in Tobago. I mean, look at the sea, the sun, the air, the villas behind us, the sea, the fresh breeze. Of course, we will set out to do some sites, but of course, we get distracted all the time. And we move on island time, nevertheless. But uh, you know what? We're always up to great things. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, a lot of what he's using on the menu is caught today, right on the shores downstairs. Eco-friendly, sustainable, clean stuff, and of course, still modern and classy at the same time. That's what Villa Bean is all about. All right. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Hey, how are you doing, man? How are you doing? I am excellent. Welcome to Villa Bean. Thank you so we much. Some coconuts from the estate as wow. a welcome drink. A burst of freshness. Check that out. Oh, in Tobago, we lend a hand. Of course. It's great. There you go. Hold on. Freshly plucked from the nut itself. Indeed. We of it course. It's tasty. <laughs> I can just imagine these nuts are probably grown on the estate also right here. They are. So you see what I mean? This yeah. is what Villa Bing is all about pretty much. Using what's around you. Keeping sustainable to the heart. Ah, <laughs> with it. Here we go. Mmm, so pure, so fresh. Correct temperature. Perfect temperature. Oh my gosh, that's so refreshing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, with the heat here in Tobago, I mean, today was hot. Yeah, it today was, was really hot. hot day. This wow. is the perfect thing to cool you down on a hot day in Tobago. It's so good that you guys are welcome all the guests with this. I mean, when you, come, you think of Trinidad and Tobago, think of the Caribbean, you think of pineapple, tropical fruits, and coconuts. Exactly. That's what it's all about. It's a good start. Yeah, what we do, we choose some kind of local fruit and make some beverage. Today is coconut water. Wow. 
Yeah, everything is always in season. So what's in season, we serve. All right, now we're gonna start the tour of the property. Right here when you enter, you have a little relaxation area. You know, you can basically smoke a cigarette, have a drink, relax. Welcome to our library and reception area. Here we have a cadre of books by local uh, authors, international authors, you name it. And this room opens up to a 180 degree view of the Caribbean Sea. Wow, look at this, just walking through here. Beautiful pool, the Caribbean Sea. That's amazing. Dude, what a beautiful view. This villa is actually built on the cusp of the mountain. So it's really perched, just overlooking, like a little mess. Very nice. And we, we try to fuse elegance with nature. So here, this is our dining room and slash office. Mm -hmm. but it also opens up to the view. So every room offers that view of the sea. Feels like I'm on a Greek isle right now. I mean, it turns all the white, right? Yeah, all the white, yeah, you have yeah. the cliffs, you know, if you go to Santorini, huge cliffs, very similar. Look at that, look at the view over here. No, over here it gets better and better. I mean, I didn't see this before, look at that. Yeah, this beautiful. I didn't know Tobago had the hills like this. It's beautiful. Yeah, this is Arnesville. Going up that side is Culloden, and then it goes to Lescato. And you go all the way up the north side road, that will lead to Castara, to Palatovia. How long is the drive out there? An hour? Yeah, about an hour for the most. So if you want to do the island completely going in a circle, maybe like two hours. Some of the seafood that we're going to have today was caught down at the rocks here yeah, this morning. Yeah, we're having patro and wilts. Yeah, wow. It's a local thing called wilts tea. They say it's, it's good for men. Where are we going next? So, uh, we're going to take you to have a look at uh, some of the rooms. So how many rooms do you have? We have a total of four bedrooms at Villa Bay. can accommodate up to ten people. They have four bedrooms. They accommodate up to ten people. And which room is this? Master suite. Okay, perfect. Look at this master suite, gorgeous. So tell me about it. So in this room, our master suite, there are 16 doors. So you're immersed in nature. You wake up and you feel as if you're outside. You have a view of the sea, a view of the trees, a view of the mountains. It's really all about being. Yeah, it feels like a tree house, right? So as you walk through, go through this door and right here, we have the Caribbean Sea, beautiful. And then this door, walk back in. And then from here we go up. Okay, beautiful. Oh, look at this private balcony. Wow. Dude, amazing. This is the best thing ever. You come here, you relax, chill, and there's a pool right there, huh? Yes, and you have the view of the Caribbean Sea. Our pool is also a salt water pool. So you can soak away and don't have to worry about chemicals in your skin. Yeah. Everything, we try to get everything as natural and as environmentally friendly as possible. And right here, we have the outdoor shower right below us. And if you guys haven't seen this before in your life, understand that out here there are mosquitoes so you get the mosquito net so before you get into your room you gotta put this down at night before the mosquitoes enter right beautiful look at this incredible oh this is a bathroom huh look at this bathroom this is greece man it's better than greece right now oh, it's the bagel <laughs> and right here we have the outdoor shower but can somebody see me from there <laughs> you can see me it's awesome. <laughs> Fantastic. So let's go to the pool. Oh, and you have a little terrace here. So another balcony. And right next to the pool, this is where we're having dinner. Beautiful dining area. Walk up these steps and over here, gorgeous. So what is this? So this is the Grand Pavilion. It's our latest addition to the Villa Being experience. Uh, it was completed in December 2021. And it's part of our Villa Being Experience. Well, this place is gorgeous. That's all I could say straight up. Like, I am blown away. This whole thing, I mean, I wish this was my house. Just come here, this would be my living room. Over here, kitchen area. Over here, just dining area, pool, just relax, sunset every day. They have some paintings here. And now what we're gonna do is we're going straight into the kitchen. We're gonna cook some food and we're gonna eat right here. Let's do it. Follow me. Right here. Welcome to Villa Bean Kitchen. Here we have Chef Jonathan G. Michael Jordan. What's up, my man? How you doing? Everything good? So you're like young, man. You're super young. Mm -hmm. yes, I, am, yes. I feel like a kid compared to this guy. Look at this. All right, guys, come with me. Let me show you some mahi mahi on the grill. Fish on the grill. I love it. Here we go. Nice. We have it smoking on top of some fig leaf, some green fig leaf. Oh, wow. I've never seen that. You haven't. It's actually something done in Tobago that I've learned. A oh, fig leaf, huh? It's roasted with coconut husk. Of the dry coconut. Oh, it's roasted with coconut husk. Yes. If you watch underneath there, you'll see the coconut husk. And guys, right under it, he tossed in coconut husk. So that, you know, basically coconut, the shell has been dried out mm -hmm. and they throw it in there. Almost like in South India and Kerala, they do this all the time. They use oh, all the yeah. coconuts, you know? Right. Wow, I can't wait to eat this. Uh, oh, we just now. <laughs> this and some rum, bro. <laughs> Let's go back to the kitchen. So right here we have the Paco stock. 
Oh, what a beautiful shot. It's like a ceviche shot. Oh, I'm excited for that, man. That's so good. So wedge the lemon at the end. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is garlic sada roti. We've already made the sada, put the garlic on it. So now we're turning it into a crisp on a low stove. This is definitely like a parada. So Jason was telling me that the, that ceviche, that animal. Which, it's actually a, a shot and uh, we refer to it as a pacro shot in Trinidad and Tobago. Pacro is actually a sea cockroach. It attaches itself to the rock. You have to pull it out or pry it out and then you boil it. You take out the meat. The water is actually an aphrodisiac. <laughs> <laughs> so when you take it, you go and you say, ah, that's good for the back. So right here we have the curry conch. This is a staple in Tobago cuisine. You come to Tobago, you must have some curry conch and dumplings. Today I had the best conch of my life and that was a curry conch. This, I know, is gonna be up there with it. Of course, man. Dude, it looks amazing. The aroma coming out of there. It's lots of chunky. Oh, God. This, with, the, with this, with this bread? Yes, it is. Amazing, <laughs> amazing. Oh, dude, we have to eat soon. Let's go, let's go. All right, Chef Jason, what we're we doing? We're gonna explore some really good fine dining uh, times right now at the Villa Bean. Um, so we're gonna do it. Um, this might be your first time. Straight okay. shot? Straight shot, be, be ginger. Sip it, let's go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's nice, huh? Mm -hmm. Do you yep. know what that herb on top is? The herb on top? Mm. Shad on Benny. Shad on Benny. So pungent mm -hmm. this. Really oh, wow. Wakes up everything, right? Yeah, nice and citrusy here, too. Let's go for the calm. Let's go for the pack roll. Mm hmm. I might need this. Mm. Move it. Mmm. I like this. Mm hmm. Feels like a clam, right? It does taste like clam. Usually, sometimes we do clam chowders, clam shots. So, Johnson wanted to do a nice play. Mm hmm. Using the pack or something local. They pride themselves on that here. That's amazing. Mm hmm. Basically, like ceviche. <sighs> All, All right, right, let's do it. Have we count time? <laughs> Just do it. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It works so well with the crisp. That's some good conch, boy. You need to admit that. It's amazing conch. Mm. Mm. I see where you're going. Dude, so good the gravy. It's straight up like a conch, curry conch. Delicious bread. It soaks it all up. I have more. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's really good, huh? Mm. Mm -hmm. I will literally take another one right now. Mm -hmm. mm. That's good stuff, boy. The gravy's amazing. Yeah. Is nice, that, rich. It's that coconut. Yeah, man. Always. You guys really have such an influence from South India. Mm -hmm. That's the wow. beauty about our people. We have so many diverse cultures. I keep saying it over and over. It really makes our food so fantastic. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. The amount of pepper they put in here, absolutely unreal. Mmm, peppery. I, I believe it's actually popular with Caribbean food, that mm -hmm. and habanero. Oh my gosh. You probably would have used that inside here. Mm -hmm. Chef knows what he's doing here. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Just wakes up the palate. Exactly. And this, it's basically one of these breads you would have like in the country of Georgia. Very nice, very thin. Mm -hmm. Still a little doughy. It just I love this. Perfect vessel to suck up all that curry sauce. Perfect vessel. You love that word, don't you? I love it. Mm -hmm. I love all your words. <laughs> Perfect medium. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. That's great, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Subtly smoked. Not heavily smoked. It's not mm -hmm. like smoked herring or salted fish. It's crazy that smoke. <laughs> you can taste the coconut in that smoke. Mm hmm Oh wow, I'm gonna get some of this right here. That's the Crayola sauce. Mm-hmm. You Amazing. can actually see it's nice and moist though. Mm-hmm. Which means that the sear or the grill was done properly with high correct temperature. And then obviously uh, smoked after for a little bit of extra flavor. Really nice, it shines. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Did you try the so meaty. grilled cuckoo? Mm-hmm. A little play on polenta. Mm-hmm. Nice and crispy. Nice and you try. can see the okras inside there. Nice. Mm-hmm. Almost like a polenta fritter in a way. Right? Yeah, it's crispy. Mm -hmm. So he adds texture to the to the plate. Because mm -hmm. you can see not only color formation taking place, but also textures. I think that's what he's building on. Yeah. So I love it because the outside, crispy, inside still a little soft. Soft, correct. There's only problem with polenta. <laughs> like, it's very airy, it's dry. 
So now I'm gonna get some of this. So the baji, no? That's the spinach. Yeah, correct. Baji. Beautiful. Look how how green it is. Go for it. Mmm. Still very moist. Mmm. Has nice crunch it also. Mm -hmm. It's not overcooked. It's not you know cremated. Incredible crunch. <laughs> <laughs> it's not cremated. <laughs> it's, it has this nice integrity. It's mm -hmm. intact, it, right? It's not overcooked. Yeah, and it's just pure, right? Just pure yeah. like spinach. It's just you know, it's it's not funny that they're actually using ingredients like this that are fresh and pure. Mm -hmm. It's inspired by the surroundings, green. Mm -hmm. and it's wholesome. Everything's organic. This came straight from the sea. Exactly. Really good. I really do enjoy this a lot. Mm -hmm. This just has a whole d dimension of flavor in it. No, oh, and it's so so healthy. And so healthy, you know. Tasty. And it's local. That's the thing about it. That's just local spinach. Wow. This is amazing. Love it. Love the whole experience, my friend. Thank you. Drag it in that sauce. Mm -hmm. mm. It's just so vivid. It's beautiful. Having some of the wine. This is from Argentina. Pinot Grigio, no? Pairs very well with uh, fish. Mm -hmm. Nice. It's dry. Still a little sweet, though. Yeah, this is the best combination, right? White wine with the sea. And it's smoked. And so it's smoked. There you go. So any sort of uh, element of uh, aridness in terms of uh, that robust flavor. Mm -hmm. Sweet wine should come to act. Mm. I love it. And this is such a healthy meal. It's a light meal. Oh, wow. After all the meals we've eaten on this trip. You know, it's such a <laughs> yin and yang, right? This is a Tobago fine dining style. Mm -hmm. It just shows the talent, the skill that's available on the island. Young chefs doing their job to elevate the local cuisine to another level for fine dining experience for the palate. Mm -hmm. Epic. So good. These are the best. Wow, I'd have 50 of these. This creme brulee is actually a coconut and plantain creme brulee. Playing again on the local flavors and the provisions. Amazing. So I love creme brulee, creme catalana, whatever you want to call it. It is absolutely amazing, especially when you just dive in and crack it. Yeah, yeah, that crack, crack noise. Crack, crack. Again, texture, and that's what he's playing on here. Because creme brulee tends pretty soft, and a nice crack on top. Sensation. There you go. There you go. Look at that. Oh. So we have whipped cream, and then we have cassava. Crumbles. Cassava pool and crumbles on top. Oh my god, I am excited for this, bro. Mmm. That's quite good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait a minute, see. Mm. Mm. So decadent. Mmm. I'm actually getting, if you look at it, guys, mm -hmm. you're seeing, I want to show you guys. You see little cubes? Mm hmm. It's almost caramelized. Mm hmm. So that the, builds on the sweet notes, drives the whole plant in game home. No, it's amazing. It is like the textures, mm, really flavors. Nice. So what happens is that the custard holds together the little particles of plantain inside there, so mm -hmm. suspended pretty much inside there. Mm. And then you got the cone co on top and the cream just mellows it out really nicely. Almost feels like the bottom feels like a flan. And then on top, creme brulee style. Creme brulee style. And then boom, just more deliciousness. Wow, I love this. A play on all the local ingredients, right? Pretty much. There's only one thing I see wrong with this. I could eat a bowl of it. <laughs> you know, one of those big Pyrex dishes, those big oh, yeah. casserole dishes? Maybe we should get Axel Chef for one. Sorry, David. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, mm -hmm. that's what the expression changed. Well, this is amazing. What an incredible dinner here at Villa. Being. That's where it is about. Just a being. Just a being. Because I want to be one with myself. <laughs> that's what it is. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, it's eco-friendly here. They push that, that alfresco feeling is open, as you can see, beautiful ocean before us, fresh breeze, yep. local ingredients, and of course, sustainable vibe. That's what they're all about. So if you're ever on the island of Tobago, you can stay here. They have four rooms, beautiful view, looking over the Caribbean Sea. They have the pool. You can literally take a shower outdoors. Yeah. And, I mean, if you're not staying here, you can come here for dinner, right? You can do that too. Yeah, pretty much. The chef is talented. I know you're going to get a great experience here at Villa Being. And uh, on the old island of, of Tobago, mm -hmm. it's a whole mood. Yeah. It's a great vibe, great people, great food, great culture. Thank you guys. Thank you to the staff. Thank you to the chef. Where does he go? Oh, there he is. Sorry, I have this blinding me. And you guys know me. You know I like to collect masks. It's one of my favorite things on earth. And right here we have primitive arts. Always support the locals. Always go shopping. As soon as you walk in, you can see beautiful turtle. You got like a jaguar. Over here some fish. Look at this right here. Just pull this string. A little macaw. Some macaw, yeah. And then right here we have clothing for kids. Hey, how you doing? Hi, I'm so you don't have any calabash mask, right? 
Nothing. You mean a mask like? Like they make a hole in it. Oh, look over so. Uh, so they got something. They got some stuff. Really nice stuff. Bigger ones here, brother. Check these out. Look at this one. Oh, that one's cool. That one looks like a pumpkin, you know? Almost like Halloween, right? Yeah. Beautiful. Look at that. Huge. You can literally put it on. So nice, but very soft, right? Is it too fragile to like travel with? No, you should be able to travel with that. This one is actually a necklace. They don't have the masks imprinted right here. Look at that. So it's fashionable, right? Yeah. So it's a little more practical. You could at least wear this one and go out in public. Okay, so I think I'm going to take some earrings for my daughters. So I'm going to take two of these. So 75 each, right? For the pair. So here she has bags, she has necklaces, she has calabash carvings, she has huge bags up there. Look at those bags, massive. She also has some postcards. I like this one. This is actually my favorite. I mean, the size is smaller, but it's cool, right? Yeah, it's rather unique. Mm -hmm. It's a distinct sort of feel to it, you know? Yeah, I personally don't want to get one of the, the ones that has like art on it. I'd rather have something mask that fits my mask collection, right? Most definitely. Oh, you collect masks. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. So what, it's 290. Idea, yeah. Let's negotiate. These are like little egg maracas, right? Yeah, oh, what's the total price for the earrings and the mask? Okay, guys. So the total price is 400, so 65 US for the two uh, earrings and the mask. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And it's here, and then everything's inside. Yeah. Okay. Everything. I put the earrings and I'm gonna inside. Inside. Thank you so much. I appreciate yeah, okay. it. Take Ciao. care. Ciao. Yeah. I know your kids are definitely going to love that in those areas, right? For sure. But let them charm bracelets with the show. Alright, let's keep going. Yeah. You want to see the mysterious tomb? I've never been there actually. It's a lot of uh, story surrounding those two meters. You want to check it out? Plymouth is tiny. Look at this. Small houses. That's it. So small community. It's very quaint. It's very quaint. Sleepy village. Sleepy village. So we have a mystery tomb here. So this tomb is very good. That's it? Yep. And this is the mystery tomb. So the famous tombstone of Plymouth from 1783, its mysterious inscription baffles interpretation. You know, this is my first time seeing this, right? Mm -hmm. It's a bit macabre, but this is a tourist attraction, apparently. It has an inscription on it. Let's see. This is the mystery tomb. It has an inscription on it. What does it say? It says, within these walls are deposited the bodies of Mrs. Betty Stephen and her child. She was a beloved wife of Alex B. Stephen to the end of his days and will deplore her death, which happened on the 25th day of November, 1783, in the year of her age. Wow. What was remarkable of it was that she was a mother without knowing it hmm, and a wife without letting her husband know, except by her kind indulgences to him. No one is a mystery. I just got mind boggled there, right? Right? I mean, 250 year old tomb here completely alone. It's surrounded by a tiny gate. You can come here. It's only a 20 minute drive from uh, from Plymouth Point. Correct, yeah. Right? And um, bring the family. Yeah, Check just pass by, see it. And now we're gonna cross from Plymouth all the way over to Scarborough. Yeah, let's do Let's go. Now we're crossing through the center of Tobago. We're basically going from north to south, but it's like northwest to southeast. Yeah. yeah, through the hills, right? Yeah. So it's very lush, lots of green trees, really beautiful. Primarily it's a geography lesson with you right now. Because I've never been to some of these sites nevertheless. And it's beautiful even for locals and myself to explore them. So northwest heading to the east, I believe, uh, Fort King George is what we're looking for right now. So we're exploring. <laughs> <laughs> you think we'll find some uh, some vendors selling anything, oh, you think? Definitely. I think wherever yeah. there are historical sites, there's probably good snacks, good food, and obviously great people that are doing positive things for the nation. Okay, perfect. So sure we get some good food. David Elliott was saying us, that's how Tobago is. It's almost like these points, like a banana. Top, bottom, middle, it's, it's, it's so crazy. But we'll get there. We have good intentions and a positive heart. That's what it's about. After a 15 minute drive, we're here at the fort, and right over there we have the Atlantic Ocean. This is the other side of the island. I'm not comfortable this this is Fort King George. If you guys don't know about colonial days in the Caribbean, this is how they would build their fortresses, overlooking the sea in case there were some invaders, some pirates, right? Ships coming in, so, I mean, you can see these cannons here now. And this is the history of the fort. It was built in the 1770s. There was a short-lived French occupation, 1781 through 93. And then in 1793, the British forces came in. And at that time, it was the British King George III. That's why they named the fort. Fort King George. Makes sense. Right now it houses the Tobago Museum and there's also a jailhouse you said, right? Yeah, that's the Barracks Guard House and we can actually hear that. Let's go. Oh, beautiful views. Look at that. That's Scarborough, right? 
That's it. Most definitely. Small town. To wow, it looks great. Beautiful colonial building, huh? Incredible. Nice stones. You have some of this like mossy grass all over it. This tree's probably here for um, years and years and years and years throughout history. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's been there forever, right? Huge tree. I love this. Look at this. It's cool in here, huh? The barracks is so awesome. Stone work is really good, but I'm selling street and stones in my stomach. I'm hungry. Let's go find something to eat. So no scarborough side because this is what the video is all about. Just eating Tobago. Let's go. It's not sleepy. It's, it's, like no one's here. Oh, it's the weekend. But that's just, uh, <laughs> I thought it would be like more packed on the weekend, you know? The beaches. So here in Scarborough, right next to the water, there's a small hut or a small tent and it's called Wendy's Taste the Difference. And here they have amazing food. So they got some pork right there. What is that? Macaroni salad, we got fries. I think I'm seeing fried rice on the day there. Look at the shadow Wendy sauce, the barbecue sauce, the garlic sauce on it. Taste the difference with Wendy's, man. We just try some of this. So that just barbecue on top? Yeah, we, we had grilled fish, barbecue chicken. Barbecue chicken right here. Yeah. Looks amazing. We have the cheesy potato, some pork, garlic cheese, potato pie. Look how good that looks. All right, what's next? Try, um, all right, great. So this is uh, what do you have in here? Green fig? Green fig, sweet potato, and cassava. Ah, oh. yeah. I see purple, white cabbage, lettuce, and a little carrot. Beautiful. First salad. So there's cheesy garlic potatoes. Pie. So pie. So you mash the potatoes. You Got add it. cheese, fresh garlic inside there. You grab some milk and you cream it up nicely. Put it to bake with cheese on top. With a nice soup. Amazing. You have a nice barbecue sauce. Oh, please. Made by Wendy. Taste for the friends. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, of course. Whatever you think. Wow. That's the fish. Okay, perfect. So we have. No, thank you so much. So we have blue marlin, and then the other one is pork, right? Barbecue sliced pork. Barbecue sliced pork. Wow. Yeah. Look at this, guys. Huge platters. Okay, so how much is it? Okay. So? And the steak weighing 55. 55 alone, and this one I'll give a compliment Yeah, you sure? Yeah, I'll give it a compliment Thank you so much. So you're Wendy, right? I'm Wendy Stays to the Friend. Welcome to Wendy Stays to the Friend. Scarborough on the milk for the road. So when do you guys open? Every single day or a certain time? Wednesday to Saturday. Wednesday to Saturday. 12, 12 Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you guys. Right. Thank you. We'll see you after. So it's gonna put so you're putting garlic sauce on it. Yeah. Because it's basically loaded. We're just adding a little more. You want some tamarind? Yeah, of course. Beautiful. Always tamarind. We're in Tobago, always tamarind. So soft and tender, right? Super soft and tender. Mm. That's pork shoulder. Oh my gosh, so meaty. Mm. I love this. I love it. Man, nice smokiness from the grill. Sent on the pit. But wow, the sauce. So it's nice. It's probably some guava she has inside it. Nice and sweet, right? It's absolutely unreal, man. I did not expect this. Here's the cool thing about Trinidad and Tobago. You find small places like this all around the road, you know? Pig salad and the potato pie. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, so creamy. Nice, soft, very clumpy. Lots of different things in here, right? Carrots, that pizza thing. Mm. That is good. That's so good. This is typical Sunday food. Sunday food, right? You eat this after lunch and you just slide on and sleep. <laughs> And here we have like straight up fat, right? Look at that, yeah. Pull that out. Nice layers. Holy. That's where the love is. Mm -hmm. What about the cheese and garlic? I don't know, man. Tomato. I have sauces. Killer. She's killing the game with that sauce. Wow. The mix, right? The garlic, tamarind, the barbecue as well. And this is um, cheesy garlic potatoes. Good. It's all good. 
God, this is like the perfect Sunday meal. And this reminds me of food I've had in southern parts of the United States, in Mississippi, mm -hmm. you know, home cooked meals. You got that great Creole influence there going on right mm -hmm. now. That's so important. Mm. To be going to scoop it out of love. Oh yeah, and the salad's so fresh. Mmm, crunchy. Simple food, but done well, right? Yeah. Dude, I just mix everything with the sauce. The sauce is cool. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Mmm. I love the seasoning in that. It's crazy. It's so good. <laughs> I mean, this is insane. I never had like barbecue and all these sauces on fish. I like that. Mm hmm I not love it. Of, not much of a fish person, but as you guys could see, mm -hmm. a lot of character in that piece of fish. A lot of character. Very meaty, mm -hmm. very thick. It's lean too, mm -hmm. but not dry. Mm -hmm. Not dry at all. Macaroni salad. Mm. Mm. What's awesome is that everything starts to blend together, right? Everything harmonizes. It's like a symphony. The sauce is with the macaroni, with the rice, with the peas. That's oh, wow. how food in the Caribbean is. You mix everything together really nicely. Mm -hmm. Creates a flavor experience here. Sorry, I'm so mesmerized by food. One last bite. I got this one. I got this one. Wendy's taste. She's got the taste done, right? Taste the difference. This wasn't bad, right? Fifty-five dollars for this mm -hmm. whole box, and we two of us could eat from this. Yeah, fifty-five for each. So like eight dollars each, pretty much. Pretty good deal. I'm gonna keep going a little bit. Good. Amazing food right here. And that's how it is, especially as you traverse through the island. I mean, we were going through sites. We just stopped, we saw this place. Thousands of vendors, a lot of great food establishments doing top quality food throughout Trinidad and Tobago. I love this island. Mmm! Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, mm. So good. Right? It's, it's too good. True. I can't stop eating this plate. It is ridiculous. Mmm! So good, right? Mm -hmm. Who wants this layer of fat? It's ridiculous. You know, I hate when people tell me you should never mix food. I'm like, no, you need to mix everything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what you did the other night, right? Mm -hmm. Man, sometimes it works. Eating yesterday, but you didn't help. Dude, it works sometimes, right? Try everything, and then if you want, start mixing. Mm. Mm. Save some space. All right. Guys, thank you so much. Appreciate it all. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Tell Wendy, thank you. Hey, tonight, where are we? We're on the Crown Point food strip. Okay, so this food strip has many different food vendors. Pizza, you got Middle Eastern, you got burgers, Big Mix. We have no plan, but we know that this pizza place is really good, right? Yes, that's Pepe Pizza. I heard they're excellent, so let's go try them out. Let's go. Team, what's up, what's up, let's go. Let's go, man. So, Italian pizzeria. I heard there's a rotisserie also. They do phenomenal pizzas. I don't know if it's thin crust. Let's go and see what's going on. Okay. Hello, hello. How's everything good? Yes, it is. So what are you building right there? Um, a large half. I have 13 and 50. Okay, so you have three different sizes I see. Small, medium, and large, right? Yep. What size are we getting, Dave? I don't know. We should probably start with a small, right? Because we're going to hit up a lot of spaces. I think I worked it out. We're going to get a pepperoni, bacon, sausage, and pineapple pizza. Oh, yeah? This is some of my favorite combinations. You can't go wrong with it. Yeah, very tropical, meaty. Very tropical. It works well in Tobago here. Pineapple, you got the sausage. Why not, right? Let's get it. My friend, how are you doing? I'm okay, I'm okay. We'll be having the nice to meet you, which is number 15, at pineapple tonight. Okay, and what is she doing there? Which one was that? The last one you all had, you all had half aloha and half nice to meet you. And which number is this? That's, sorry? Which number was that? That was half number eight and half number 15. Oh, you can get half of a number? Yes, yes. Oh. So you have two different pizzas on the same um, dough. All right, so what I'm seeing here uh, is for obviously fresh sausage. So you just know it's gonna taste good. It's not any prepackaged thing. Slice so of the pepperoni, you know, it's gonna add that really nice peppery flavor. I'm seeing pineapple outside there. It's like mozzarella cheese, so it's truly authentic. This obviously is a thin crust. I'm doing it in that oven there, it's gonna yield a really great result. So I'm really excited. This one looks amazing. So, what do we have? Pepperoni, we have ham, we have pineapple, and Italian sausage. So, it's half like Hawaiian, right? And half meat. Half me, half me lovers. Okay, nice. So he's gonna throw it in right now. So what you saw earlier on that device, it's called a peel. Okay. You ensure you either cover it with flour or cornmeal mm -hmm. to ensure that the dough doesn't stick to the peel when you dislodge it from the peel into the oven. 
quintessential Italian item. So how long is it going to take for, for the pizza? Depends on how hot it is. I'm probably averaging maybe like about maybe five to six minutes if that much. Because our pizza is small, it's going to take five to seven minutes. So we're just going to wait around. Six to seven years, you guys are going to Yes, six to seven years. Tell me that it's like the number one pizza on the island. Trend that and Tobago combined, yes. Now let me tell you something. I tell you from my approval, this is the number one pizza in Tobago. <laughs> Hands down, I'm digging lots of pizza places. Some trouble, good, good some trouble. trouble. I'm telling you, amazing, amazing. Okay, this is a pretty good one here. Uh, he's real picks. This is, I mean, definitely they got their tick of approval from David. And I mean, so far it smells good. After five minutes, our pizza is ready. This is going to be the bomb. Thank you so much. Amazing. Let's go. We're going to eat right now. Uh, oh, look at that boy. Still really hot. I like it. It's nice and crispy, thin. Got a little oily, and you know, for me, do without the flakes, guys. Oh my God! Look at I this. need the flakes. You want some flakes? Oh, you go ahead with flakes. I go ahead. I'm a purist, man. Oh, dude, I can't do without flakes. <laughs> I'm a big flakes guy. Oh yes! Look at that guy. Oh man, ready to go? Let's do it. Mmm, so hot. Mmm, so delicious. Oh man, that pineapple. Mmm, so tropical. Oh, wow. So good. Mm-hmm. I just can't get over how nice and pure the sausage is. It's not like minced meat, it's just these clusters of sausage. Mm -hmm. Fresh sausage. Nice thin pizza, nice and oily. Oh, I love the crust too. Mm -hmm. The cheese just melts nicely, right? Mm -hmm. Fresh mozzarella. Mm. Mm -hmm. And thankfully, it's not like scorching my mouth. No. It just came out of there, cooled down really fast. I knew that's right. Five minutes. It's still a little doughy, and what I love about it is that meat pizza. It's my favorite pizza. Meat pizza. You have the three meats, and then you have the pineapple to add that extra tropical flavor. You know, I've been thinking this. Next time I order this, mushrooms on it. Mmm. That'd be epic. I'm really impressed by this. The, the type of dough this is. It's so crunchy. This is great pizza. This is great. I highly recommend this one. Mmm. -hmm. So artisanal in nature. The crust is epic. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. All wrong best. 10 out of 10, man. Have a try this pizza when you're here in Tobago. Wow. PP's pizza. Great choice, David. Thank wow. you. Wow. I'm just so impressed with how good the crust is. Yeah. Most people just get doughy crust. This is nice and thick crust. Right. Mm -hmm. Nice and crispy. And it's really top notch quality bacon, pineapple, precious oven, and mozzarella cheese. So you're tossing some more pizzas? Yeah, she does have one to toss, but she's lying. It's a big pizza. This is the large, right? Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Look at how she's just stretching it. That's an amazing dough. You guys make your own sauce? Wow, it's not no commercial stuff, man. All done from scratch. All from scratch, and that's what the difference is all about. And she's just gonna spread that out so elegantly. Check this out. Oh yeah. Fresh tomatoes inside the MC no oregano, fresh garlic, basil, rosemary. Oh yes. Sir. Look at that, David. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much. All right, thank you. The pizza was amazing. Thanks. Guys, when you come, to Crown Point, come here. Pepe's Pizza, best pizza on Tobago. At least that's what my friends are telling me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll see you next time. <laughs> What's next? What's next? I don't know. We want to just have free spirit. Let's go see what else. That's our yeah. date. Right next door, we have some gyros. So maybe we do that. Maybe we do some Middle Eastern food. Yeah, let's go. Ah, beautiful. What are you making? Pepe sauce? Oh, yes. Look at that. Beautiful. So is this lamb or beef? Mixed. Mixed. Even better. Where are you from, bro? Venezuela. Mi pana. ¿Qué tal? ¿Todo bien? Mi pana es de Caracas. Es que, if you guys didn't know, there's a lot of Lebanese and a lot of Syrians in Venezuela. Oh, this is good. This is really nice. Oh, I can't wait to try one of these. So, right here we have a mix. This is lamb and beef. This is the shawarma. Shawarma all day, man. Oh, yeah, right there. As you can see, where it becomes nice and brown, right here. That's ready. So you guys know I'm Italian, I love pizza, but to be honest, this is one of my favorite things on the planet, shawarma. I was recently in Lebanon, in Oman, anywhere in the Middle East, you'll eat this amazing thing. So basically lamb and beef, sometimes it's either lamb alone, beef alone, chicken, and you also have sujuk. Here we have one, so he gets a pita, he puts some lettuce, tomato, he puts some sauce, maybe some garlic sauce, right? Cheese, pineapple, and mushroom too. Oh, cheese, pineapple, mushroom too? Oh, awesome, awesome. So right now he's like literally nuking it, so he's making it really, really hot. And then eventually, once it's all cooked on the sides, he's gonna cut it off, right? And do you use the uh, sí. corta? Okay, so you use this thing right here, right? All right, let's place our order. Yeah. Hello, hello. Hi. How you doing? 
And right here they have their menu. Yeah. It's one meat and it's mixed already. Yeah, it's beef and lamb together. That's what we have outside. So I'll get that. So let me see the combos. I just really just want it. Let me see. Let me, like, where's the gyros? So yeah, I'll get a beef and lamb. I'll get one. You? I'll share with you. Sure, no, we can't share. Oh yeah, that's true. Can't right, share this one. I mean, maybe uh, you can ask him to put it in half, but that's okay. Ah, uh, it's, it's too hard with this. Yeah. Too right, small gyros. It's a ten-inch bread. It's technically like half of a regular gyro. Can you cut it in half then? A mini. No, no, a big one. A regular, yeah. You tell him what you want in it, and you collect it there. Tell him to cut it in half for you. So how much is it? Forty dollars. Forty. Oh, Thank you so much. Enjoy your meal and the rest will be nice. Awesome, let's, let's go. go let's go. Okay, that's quick, right? That was quick. That was uh, like no headache at all. So 40? 40 bucks. We 40 get a gyro. Mm -hmm. We're going to split it in half because we plan to eat more again. I don't want to fill up that much. Mm -hmm. So yeah. beef and lamb. Let's try it. I hope it's good. It's yeah. going to be really good. Yeah. I, I hope so. I mean, this is one of my favorite things ever. It's so good. It's like so shawarmas, right? Oh, shawarma. Shawarma all day. It's always because we got that garlic sauce inside here. You got the lettuce and tomatoes. It's like a fresh salad. It's pretty balanced, pretty much, when you really think about this filling. Mm -hmm. It's tasty. Never had gyros in Tobago before, so. Oh, wow. It's, it's an experience. You're doing a lot of it first with me. Huh? Yeah, by all means. Mm -hmm. I... All right. Here we go. Here we go, brother. Grab yours, grab mine. Ooh, it's hot. Wait, it's piping. It's hot. It is hot. Too. Okay, so we waited 20 minutes for this. It's gonna be amazing. Ooh, it's hot, boy. It's hot. Well, gyros are like that, pretty much. Huh? They're always like that, right? It's like just encapsulated in foil and this. You have to take this off. Oh, it's so hot. And it's stuffed. Beautiful. So we have lettuce, we have the lamb, the beef. I think what's coolest part about this is that we have mushrooms and pineapple, which is different. And then he like literally melted cheese on top of the mushrooms. It's <laughs> like what, what, what you call, uh, you know, in the Spanish, uh, when you when you grill something, what do you, what do you refer to it as? I forgot. La... Oh my God, I forgot the word. No problem. When I was in Miami, they used to do it all the time. Ready? Let's yeah. Do it. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love this. <laughs> this is amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is good. This is like an exotic tropical shawarma. Oh my god. Spicy on top. The pepper. It's burning lips. Mm -hmm. mm. You know what I love about this? It's affordable. Everybody can eat it. Everybody. I mean, pretty much we're saying it right now. Mm -hmm. You are snap coming on the strip. That's something light. This is amazing. It's forty dollars. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. It's fresh. Good meats. Mm -hmm. Nice vegetables inside. And the pita is so crispy. So crispy. And if you want the veg version, just go with falafels, which are basically chickpeas fried. Right? Here we go. All that lamb inside there. Mm -hmm. Perfect mix. And the pineapple just complements so well with that beef. So when's the first time you had a shawarma? I think uh, it was about eight years ago. Oh uh -huh. yeah? I actually had it in Miami. Okay. But true authentic shawarma shawarma. And I always loved it since then. Mm -hmm. And I haven't really gotten a good one since then until I came to Tobago. So thumbs up on that, right? Mm -hmm. So I also had a first time in Miami. But obviously they call it Yido because that's more the Greek name. Correct. Yido, right? But it's not really gyros. It's gyros. No, it's a Yido. Yido. It's a gyros. Mm -hmm. I love this. All the vegetables are so crisp. Mm -hmm. They're not leaking. They're not broken down with our heat. I love it. Mushrooms are super nice. They're mm -hmm. caramelized slightly. Mm -hmm. Love our sauces in here. Nice garlic. Mm -hmm. Good choice, brother. Good choice. Can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. For your belly? Mm hmm? Whoa. Good price. Good price, exactly, man. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, man, at the very bottom, I got oh, cheese you, and mushrooms. You got a love bucket going on there. Cheese, mushrooms, and pineapple. Mm, yeah. So scorchy at the bottom. <laughs> mm hmm. Tell me, still hungry? Of course, dude. <laughs> that was a snack. <laughs> <laughs> So instead of walking down the strip, we're just gonna drive down and see if we see anything we wanna eat, right? So over here we have like bars, lots of bars, a wing bar. I'm feeling for wings. Let's go for wings. We drove for like one minute and we found a, a wings bar. That's what it says here, wings bar. 
and Frank said, Debbie, the lights, where I had doubles two days ago. Honey barbecue. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I'm thinking, I'm thinking honey barbecue, maybe teriyaki, and I see cereal. Cereal is one of those uh, floral petals that we have here in Trinidad and Tobago. Around Christmas time, we make a drink out of it. Okay. So I think it'll be brilliant because you're obviously using that natural flavor to get a sauce, barbecue sauce. So I think it'll be interesting. Uh, How much? So that's $55. My friend, here you go. So it's three pieces, they're gonna cut in half, so it's gonna be six pieces. What sauce is that? Sorrel. That's the sauce, that's ours, right? Yeah, that's sorrel. So that's what we got with the sorrel. Yeah. So it looks like almost like tamarind. Like it's like a, almost like pomegranate too, like very purplish. That's tamarind. Okay, nice. So how many sauces you got here? Okay, so they have 17 sauces. This is gonna be awesome. Look at this. It's like sizzling. Oh, it's bubbling up. Very nice purple. Nice. So right there, he's doing the lemon pepper. So it's going to be a really, really hot one. We're not eating that tonight, though. We're only having a sorrel. But if you want uh, a really spicy one, try lemon pepper, right? Also, we're going to do a jerk now, so... Woo! Adding some flakes, huh? Oh, my gosh. The music here doesn't stop. This is the Caribbean. <laughs> Everywhere you go in the Caribbean, it's like this. Pops. Which one is this one? Turn and churn. Turn and churn? Yes. That's it, right? Oh, look at the pineapple right here. Good pineapple right here. My man, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, thank you. All right, let's go, let's go. Time to eat. Are we ready? We're ready. I'm hungry, let's go. I mean, the smells coming out of this kitchen are unreal. 17 different flavors here, 17. Pineapple, I saw a pepper one, and then I saw one that's like almost like a Szechuan one, like super spicy. Ooh. I've never had one like this. This is going to be a little sweet, right? It looks a little sweet. Yeah, that's the sorrow. So let's balance between sweet and tart. Thank you. Wow. Good. This is it. Ooh, they're hot. That's the sorrel glazed wings. Sorrel is just like the main drink that you have around Christmas time. This is a Christmas drink? Pretty much, yeah. Sorrel drink is drunk, is drunk around Christmas. Okay. And they've innovated and have it. Ooh. Sorrel glazed wings. They're hot. They're hot. They're hot. Look at the steam coming out of that. Oh, the steam. Beautiful. It's too much. You want to burn them out? Oh my God, it's sweet. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorrel glazed wings. Going with that one? Yeah. I think I'm gonna take this one. We let it sit for five minutes, guys. It was too hot. It's intensely hot. All right, let's, let's go. do it. Oh my god. That's good. Mm hmm. Nice and sweet. Mm hmm. It actually reminds me of like some of these Chinese dishes. Like, yes. Go, uh, what is it? Oh man, it's like a Mongolian beef, it's not. I mean, the sweetness too, right? Yeah, correct. This has, uh, you can taste a little vinegar in it, some cinnamon, some nutmeg, mm -hmm. clove inside there. Mm -hmm. What's the sorrel peppers? Mmm. Look at the breading. It's fried fish. And toss it up in the sauce. So mm -hmm. it just clings to the breading. Mmm. Oh, so good. It's infused. Come up the bone now. Mm hmm. Oh, I'm getting another. Mm. A little bit of freshness, right? Mmm. Mmm. These are amazing wings. I love these. We made a good choice, right? Mm hmm And they have 17 flavors, so if you want, you can go hot, you can go sweet. Done. Done. What do you have for us, huh? They're so tender. So the meat just falls off the bone. Yeah, there's a trick right like this. Mmm. Sour glazed wings, huh? Oh, my God. And I saw so many other flavors, you can imagine how they taste. I'm going to go in here and grab the bottom there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Unadulterated, just sorrel. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Sorry, uh, this is a species of the hibiscus plant. Okay. So you take the pepper and you boil it with spices, cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, sugar, water, and you drink it around Christmas time. And we've been throughout the course of the year. You have many drinks that include sorrel. You're using it in food also now. I mean, it reminds me of tamarind in the sense of the sweetness. Correct. Right? Tamarind's a bit astringent. Mm -hmm. This one's a little more sweeter. It's way sweeter. Mm -hmm. yeah. and what I like about sorrel is that Color is just simply brilliant. A bright red, purple, kind of oh, God. orange color. This is too good. You guys gonna eat? That looks so. <laughs> so my friends are leaving me one more because it's too good. I have to eat it. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh yeah, the bottom of this little box is full. Oh, just raise it up. Mm. Mm. 
Mmm. Oh, God. It's one of the best. One of the best chicken wings of all time. Mm hmm. Pull it out. At the very end. Let's pull up. Oh, wow. The chives. It's got some onion here, too. And that's it. Unfortunately, we drove around for about 20 minutes, couldn't find any juice spots. A lot of places to drink beer, rum, you know, loud bars. Loud music, yeah. Loud music. That's what the strip is like, pretty that's much. That's what it is, right? Yeah. But my belly's full. My belly's full, too. And that's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we did three spots. We did pizza, we did gyro, and we did delicious chicken wings. That was incredible. Many more spots. I mean, you can go forever. There's way more down the road. But that's what we chose tonight. Yeah, and it was satisfactory. I had yeah. fun. I liked it. Yeah. I'm full. My belly's full. I'm ready to go sleep. Yeah, that's, that's the plan right now. Yeah. Good, good night, man. Good night, right? Look at this, guys. Love these doors. Super tropical, right? Oh, yeah. Colorful. Really nice. So this is our seating area, like a little living room. You can just chill here, relax, some drinks, watch television. Just converse. So it's a nice little family area, pretty much. So as soon as we walk in, right here to the right, we have a small kitchenette. So you can wash your hands. Right here we have... A fridge over here we have some cups right as you keep going to the right this is the first bedroom so this is a, the, the guest room what's good about this is that we have some friends over even and they don't have any couples or anything of that nature one could sleep here one could sleep here just friends who are just tagging around just pretty want to be part of the lime or the party so mm -hmm. here you go nice little single beds nice enough space obviously you could put your clothes here whatever belongings you may have what's interesting also is that you have a washer dryer here also because we have a pool outside so any clothes that get dirty for the beach or whatever the case may be in addition to that you have a private little area here bathroom so you have a bathroom downstairs for who's ever staying in this area in the single rooms nice little shower as well as a sink and toilet yeah and what's also great about this bathroom is it has a door that goes straight to the pool so if you want everybody can go through here to clean up after they go in the pool right so now let's continue upstairs so what you got here is a nice little vintage style wooden steps coming up. And as you enter the top level, first things first, you got a main kitchen going on here. So obviously, full-fledged fridge. You have your stove, your microwave, you have your dishes for eating, as well as your kitchen area for prep area. Beauty about this is that if you're cooking or barbecuing, because there is a grill here, full patio and terrace. So you mm -hmm. can sit down over here, chill out wrapping straight around the house to the right as well as the left overlooking the terrace obviously is that great pool so i just know it's gonna have good parties here it's just basically really alfresco enjoyable make it happen here it's mm -hmm. amazing pigeon point paradise yeah so from the kitchen you have this beautiful terrace you guys can have dinner right here overlooking the pool and you have private balconies so whoever's thing over here literally can hang out over there with his friends over there with their friends so if i want to have my own party I have a lovers couple right here, chair. We just chill out. So it has a lot of space. Even though you have a lot of people that may be here, everybody doesn't feel clustered. Everybody has their own zones. Everybody could chill out and just feel liberated to some degree. All right, so once we walk back through the kitchen, over here to the right, we have the family room. So this is where I stayed. This was my bed. There is super high ceilings, nice air conditioning. I love the tropical colors. And over here, each room has this type of bathroom, right? It's small, it's cozy, it's all we need. Yeah, come check this out. It's what we have here as we come through the next side of the corridor. I call this the lover's room, where it be the couple's room, master room. You got a main king-size bed, air conditioned, television, nice little vanity set here, obviously. And the beauty about this is that you have a view that goes straight out to the same terrace. So it's pretty much private in this new zone. You got your cabinet counters inside here, whatever you may need, like clothes. We oh, have a lockbox. There you go. And enough space to store your suitcases, iron set, hangers. Straight out to the terrace, overlooking everything. The grand room of the door. Such a beautiful property. Good mm -hmm. breeze also. And I want to show you my favorite piece of the house. <laughs> in terms of art, this is it. The map of Tobago right here. So this is where we are, the very, very tip. So pigeon point right here. And you have this whole island to explore. If you want to see the whole thing, it's going to take you roughly, let's say, two and a half hours to go around the whole thing driving, right? So we're going to breakfast or what? Yeah, I know this nice little local place, very quaint, good food. They do it correctly. Let's go. Let's go. 
It's eight in the morning. We have a flight in about two hours. Let's continue. So we just finished our stay here. We were here three nights. Now I put it in here in the lockbox, change the code. Can't open, everything's good, let's go. The one thing I wish I had more time for is this pool. Look at this pool, beautiful. We were here for about an hour last night. It's amazing, it's shallow, you have, you know, borders the whole way. The whole thing is borders, so you could just basically like little uh, stools, right? So you could just sit there, relax, have a drink with some friends. Bye bye, beautiful house, beautiful villa, love you, 179. All right guys, ready to go? Let's go. Two minute drive over right here. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, morning. Good morning. You doing good? Yep. So Rosie's, right? Rosie's is where it's at. You're gonna see what's going on inside there. We literally drove one minute and we're here at Rosie's Homestyle Bakery. Let's go inside. So Rosie's is a small bakery. As you can see, obviously because of COVID, this is how it is, the interior, right? They yeah. spread out all the tables. Pretty much, social and distancing in, in, in effect. Mm -hmm. And over here to the right, we have a lot of you know, fried stuff. It looks like almost like empanadas, uh, like little croissants, just current rolls. You have really great freshly baked pastries as well as fried items. Mm -hmm. And from different islands also. So you have the currants roll, the sausage roll, the beef pies, you have the puffs, but all freshly made. So what are we gonna order? Well, I'm focusing on the breakfast. I'm seeing some sausages cooked up with onions and ketchup. That is such a staple here in Trinidad and Tobago. Onions and ketchup. Onions and ketchup. Yeah, it's really good. Don't bash it until you try it. <laughs> we have, I'm seeing corned beef. Our corned beef is a bit different. It's like most minced and we cook it down with different sauce. Onions and tomatoes and sweet peppers. I'm seeing bakes, fried bakes, coconut bakes, smoked herring, salted fish. I'm seeing eggs, fried shark, sausage rolls and one cheese pie. Sure. What kind of juices do you have, Miss? Fresh, nice. I see you have sorrel also, is that? Today. You want to try an uh, orange or a grapefruit juice? I'll try some orange. Yeah. All right. Yeah, orange is good. So let's have um, one grapefruit, maybe two oranges, and one grapefruit juice. Let's try the grapefruit juice. Also. Morning. How are, you How are you doing? Everything good? Yeah. All right, so we want to order. Tell me, what is this here? What kind of bake is this? This is Both of them is Ah, the carrot bake. That sounds interesting. That's the carrot bake. So basically, they're bakes that are studded with coconut and fresh carrots inside here. So it's a traditional uh, bread item that we have here on the island. So we want to have um, one of the whole wheat bake, one of the carrots, one of the fried bake, three acres, that's the salted fish acres, crisp and nice. We're also going to be having some bhaji, some salted fish bulljo. Sausages cooked up with onions and ketchup, as well as some corn beef. So we added some fresh salad to that one. Yeah. All right, we have a massive breakfast. This is amazing. <laughs> it's a huge bread. Huge. Usually breakfast items, you order a lot. Okay. Everybody enjoys, takes a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. That's the experience. What is this all about? Oh yeah, look how fluffy that is. Beautiful. Beautiful bread. And you know what you call this inside? The pet. The pet? Yeah. <laughs> Basically that absorbs all the good yumminess, all the sauce or whatever the case that you're eating. Oh, man. That's beautiful, right? I am beyond excited right now. A whole wheat bake. This is 100% whole wheat flour. Look at that. Mm, Fresh turmeric that. inside there also. Adds in the color. And this is also roasted? This is done in a pot. Okay. So it's pot roasted as compared. So you have one that is fried and in the hot oil, one that is baked in the oven, and one that's done in a cast iron pot. Amazing. You get different flavors. I love that. Break it up just it's cool you guys do everything a little different. Like, you do multiple different breads, different varieties, and different styles, Most right? definitely. So you get different textures, different flavors, and of course, visually arresting, different appeals mm -hmm. as we look at it. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's good, huh? Mm-hmm. I'm always, I'm always surprised at how good greens taste. Mm -hmm. Spinach, bhaji. It's almost like cream and spinach. Super fluffy bread. And this one, which, which one? This that's is the baked. The, that's the baked. The baked. Mm -hmm. That's a carrot bake. Let's try the half spread now. Half spread? Okay. Let's try it maybe with the sausages. Mm -hmm. Dip it in. Let's get in here. Dip it. Oh yeah, I just say that. And you could mix and mash your combinations. It does not matter. It doesn't matter, right? It does not matter. It all goes down the same hole. It all goes down the same hole. Hot spread. Hot spread is away. Love it. Mm -hmm. mm, like homey food, you know? Like yeah. Comfort. That's what is comfort food mm -hmm. on a Sunday. 
That's what it is about. It's so good. Wow. Try the fry bake. Fry bake. And let's put some of the salted buljo, salted fish buljo. Okay. Take a little bit of bachi with it too. Mm hmm. You're having fun, huh? Mm hmm. Salted fish. Mm hmm. A nice harmonizing flavor, right? Mm hmm. The flavors are so good together, right? Salted fish chakras. Mm -hmm. We have a nice mango chutney on top. I put a lot of mango chutney for that beautiful. I would say fish fritters, right? But fish fritters, um, hush puppy concept, but we use salted cod or salted fish in ours. Mm -hmm. That's right. Salted cod, the best. No words. That's good, huh? It brings it alive. Mm -hmm. That's mango, shallow belly, garlic, ketchup vinegar, Not too sugar. spicy. It's just melodious. Okay, what's next? What, what bread haven't we tried? This one? Huh? Let's try the, the whole wheat bake. Whole wheat bake. So anything, right? Go wild. Go wild this time. So I'm just gonna mix everything basically now, right? Like that? Uh, Is that okay? That's, that, that's perfectly okay. The cod, the corn, the bhaji. beef, the bhaji, and the fluffy bread. Mmm. <laughs> it's good, huh? Mmm. I'm annihilating this dish. I love this comes from our in the background, or English, mm -hmm. corned beef, the greens, the different types of breads that we use, the local ingredients that we put in our breads. Mm -hmm. Even our Creole background with the sausages, the ketchup. Yeah, I mean, for me, this would be like a southern breakfast in the United States. Pretty like much. a mix, right? Yeah. Got the collard greens, obviously here with different type of greens. The corn uh, beef. Yeah. The corn beef. You like that, right? Oh, I love it. That's actually tin. And we open it up and cook it out really nicely. Such a favorite with everyone. And a sandwich right here. Mmm. So what we have here now, these are, this is mm -hmm. known as a sausage roll. It's a beautiful uh, six inch or seven inch sausage inside it and it's rolled with fresh pastry mm -hmm. and then it's baked. Oh yeah, look at the flakiness on that. Look at the sausage on the inside. I'm gonna try and then after I'm gonna use uh, delicious you, you mango. Go for the mango. I have right? to, I have to. All right, let's do let's this. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. this morning, you know. It's a sweet hot dog. When you're rolling it up, mm -hmm. usually put a touch of mustard inside there. Okay. You get a bit of sweetness, usually honey mustard, but the pastry is where it all is at. Wow. Yeah, so this is almost like a, I'd say, a Cuban pastry, but with the hot dog inside. Yeah. So a little different, right? But it's unique. It's, uh, it's filling, it's flaky. Mmm, the butter, you can taste butter like crazy. Because our pastry has a lot of butter inside mm -hmm. it, so you get those flakes going on. Surround it in that. It's so good. Mm-hmm. Should take one of these home, boy. Eat it on the plane. <laughs> yeah, so that was the stuff. Let's try the cheese pie. Mm -hmm. Cheese pie, huh? So this is our cheese pie. Again, same pastry, but with a beautiful cheese paste inside of it. There you go, sir. Oh, look at that beautiful cheese inside. Mm hmm Ready. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice, right? What cheese is this? what you call local cheddar cheese. Local cheddar cheese, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. our cheese just has a significant uh, Caribbean-like flavor. Mm -hmm. Even though we have cheddar cheeses across the world, the one that we get in Trinidad is really unique to the Caribbean. Do you have like spices or something? What is this? They mix spices into this. You get black pepper sauce, paprika, cayenne, cayenne inside there, maybe a touch of rosemary, mustard inside there, pepper sauce, rolled together. Oh, wow. Obviously, you get this beautiful piece. Zesty, right? It's amazing. Yeah, I like it because you have so many different layers of dough. Some are very doughy, some are crispy on the outside, you know, golden brown. Textural sensation. Mm -hmm. That was a good boy. Look good breakfast. Good choice, right? I love this place. Yeah. Rose's Bakery. Last piece of sausage right here. Mm hmm. Got some more sauce on there. I'll place on top here. This is a gold mine. Experience for you. From uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner, Indian food, Creole food, mm -hmm. Syrian, Lebanese, Chinese. This keeps Comes missing, right? And every single day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you can have a different meal. That's what I love about this country. Like, literally, this is something different. We haven't tried any of this yet. No, we have not. This is so it's always time. something to discover. If you come to the island, pretty much you're going to have an experience every day. And that's what it's about. Are you going to touch any of that? I am going to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, right? Oh, it's perfect. I don't have to eat anymore. Here. So it's two eighteen. So roughly like something almost thirty dollars, thirty uh, US. Yeah, well, thirty five US. Thirty five US. Perfect. So it's two eighteen. Thank you, Miss Rossi. Thank you so much.
She's shy. She's shy. She's the shy one. But when you have good uh, good hand like that, making all that good food, there's no need to be shy. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Take care. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's go. All right, guys. We we're gonna finish up now. We you know we're on the way to the airport, and he was telling me about a sweet shop right outside the airport. So we're gonna have some sweets. Yeah, we're gonna have some local sweets: Benny Bowl, Sugar Cake, Nut Cake, Tamarind Balls. Everything that is famous about sweets here in Tobago, they have it right at the airport. So as soon as you take off, you get some. All right. So we have sugar cake here. We have an assortment of fudge, Benny Balls. Danny sticks. These are traditionally done in bowls, mm -hmm. but uh, I find it's pretty savvy. Yeah, they're Danny hard. Sticks. They're very dense. So they're easier to eat this way. Okay. So let's try this. So how much is it? Ten dollars a bag. Ten a bag. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right. Bye bye. Let's go eat it. I say we go try these. Let's go. Danny sticks, papaya balls, or popo balls. Okay, so let's try the papaya balls. So open this up. Packaging is always hard. Oh, this is gonna be super sugary. Look at these sugary balls. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're gonna eat one each or break it in half? We're breaking it in half. I don't think you can break it in half, dude. All right, well then I'm gonna have to eat one. That's. Mm-hmm. Mmm. -hmm. It's really nice. I mean, it's another donut, right? Extremely dense. I mean, it's like grainy. Yeah. So this is unadulterated sweet. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's preserved. So it's green pop that is usually used, and it's sweetened. So you gotta have a lot of sugar. Mm -hmm. Lots of sugar. It's addictive. Look at that. Look at the amount of sugar here. Sugar rush right here. It's perfect to go on the flight now with this one. Mm -hmm. Might as well snack. Mm -hmm. mm. Love that. Oh my gosh. So sweet. Love papaya. Yeah. I haven't had that in years, mm. and I, I forgot how good it was. It's so good. So I broke one out here. That's a little stick. That's a Benny sticks. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get a smaller piece. You know, I know how hard these are. Watch this. Watch. Mm -hmm. They're so good though. Mm. I dare you want to have another one. I have to. <laughs> They're so good. Extremely dense. Packed with so much flavor. Sweet. And then all the sesame seeds, the ultimate snack. Mm. Boom, boom. Yum. Mm. Amazing, these. Wow. Good job, good job. Mm -hmm. And they make these fresh, huh? So unique, right? So unique. In terms of the sweet, like it's hard, at the same time sweet. That's because of the sugar content, it's hard. But then you have all the seeds on it, which gives you that crunchy mm. sort of texture. Oh, yeah. Sesame seeds. I'm gonna buy more. My favorite. We only had two. There's like, I think, uh, like 12 or 13 of them right there. Yeah. And there's something you have to do when you come to Tobago. Try the sweets. It's a must. Yeah, the Benny sticks and the papaya balls and a host of others. You're not going to be sorry. We're about to board the flight. Later. Go. just got off the plane and I'm going to eat some Trini Chinese food. If you guys don't know, Trinidad is a big mix of Indian, Chinese, African, huge immigration here in the early 20th century. And the Chinese were here, right? So I'm here with Quincy and David. Quincy, how you doing? Cool man, cool man. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much, David. So it's Trini Chinese food at Wing Hua. Oh, I love spicy stuff. Let's go inside. And this is the restaurant, as you can see, it's like almost like a bar at the very end where you, they take your orders, right? They also have cocktails here, they have some soft drinks, and over here, unfortunately, because of COVID, they still have the dining area closed, so no entry. So the way it works is just straight takeout. Oh, we got here. So we got boba milk tea flavors. Oh, wow, we got to try boba milk. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't get your name before. My name is Patricia. Perfect. Very nice to meet you, too. So we're ready. I'm hungry. I need some good food. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm style chicken, I'm style pork, um, yeah, I'm style fried one times too. Shrimp, yeah. some good, eh? Yeah, that sounds good. Cool. Um, some pepper shrimp as well. Yeah. Singapore noodles. Portion of chunky bread, just to feel healthy. The Singapore noodles come with meat inside. Black bean beef, uh, Singapore noodles, mm -hmm. uh, so we got like six things and you guys have how many here? The menu is huge. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, 
So usually Chinese restaurants have these massive menus, right? So it's like chicken, chips, shrimp, beef, fish, pork. Awesome. So this restaurant's open Monday through Thursday, 10.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. Friday and Saturday, 10.30 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. Sunday and public holidays, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. So basically every single day. Right, true. Every day you're open. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> so whenever you come here, you guys are open. Holidays and everything. Dude, what, what is this? No way. This guy has seen my stuff on YouTube and he's like, I got to bring you some curry goat. Dude, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, Nandi, uh, Shukriya, I know a few words in Hindi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So people put it on Chinese. The next thing you have soy sauce, right? Soy sauce, pepper sauce. And peppers right here, guys. Let's go. Thank you so much. Okay, Jackie's letting me in the kitchen to see how they make some of these dishes. Hello, my friends. How's everything? Oh, wow. oh look at that. Beautiful noodles. What are we doing? Chicken. Oh, chicken. Like a half chicken there. Oh, I love this chicken. It has like a glaze, glaze on top, right? Wow, beautiful plate. So right here we have lo mein with some cabbage and some chicken, right? Yes, this noodle, chow mein, and Chinese star chicken. Chinese star chicken? Yes. It looks so good. Everything here looks great. And here you have huge woks. How are you doing? Everything good? Massive woks, guys. All right, so he's adding salt. He's adding a, a few different peppers. Oh, that's some, that's shrimp? Pepper shrimp. Oh, is that coconut? This is the pepper shrimp, guys. Beautiful that is. Here we go, another dish. So which one is this one? Beef in babin sauce. Beef in babin sauce. It's spicy or no? No, no, not spicy. Not spicy? No. Nice. So it's like sugar, salt. I love the walk, and the best thing about Chinese food is how fast they do it. I mean, they throw it in there, two minutes, it's done, so quick. Oh, it's gonna be so good, this beef, you can smell the aroma. Wow. All right, it's so another dish. This one's starting off with some... Uh, some Tangu Tangu Yeah, Tangu All right, so, so there's lots of vegetables, right? Yeah. Over here, again, salt, pepper, sugar, oil. Is that cream? Straight vegetables. So here we have pepper, that's sugar, sugar and salt. What's that? Garlic. Yeah. So garlic, he's getting some pepper. spice, some spice. pepper, to make it spicy. Some tomatoes, some onions, some bell peppers, and, and then some more spice. That's the Hong Kong style. Hong Kong style. What do you throw in there? Spicy pork. Spicy pork? Yeah. Awesome. Oh my, so this is Hong Kong style, spicy pork. He just threw in a bunch of vegetables, some spice, lots of spice. He's getting some more sauces, it's so much. Yeah, Hong Kong chicken. Kala, blue pepper, pimento, bitter Oh wow. So salt, sugar, pepper. Guys, I'm so hungry, I'm just gonna take a bite of some of this carrot. It's amazing. Oh, light spices. Not not too spicy. Not too I mean, spicy. I mean, just the, all the flavors here too. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Hot, eh? Mm -hmm. It's really good, but that was hot. We're out the fryer. Too hot for me right now. <laughs> Singapore noodles. Oh, Singapore noodles here. Oh wow, look at that guys, beautiful noodles. Mm -hmm. Wow. And that's done. So these dishes are Chinese dishes with Trinidadian influence. We're gonna throw some spice in there. We're gonna mix it up. We're gonna throw some super chilies, huh? Out in the front, you guys have a lot of chilies. It's gonna be good. What else are we doing? Some fried some chicken? Fried shrimp, fried shrimp. Fried shrimp? Yeah. Beautiful, love the coating. Nice amount of flour there. And that oil is nuke. Super exploding heat, huh? All right, so that's fried shrimp. And you put it in here. What is this? It's today. Oh, wow. So it's like an oven, huh? That's amazing. 
Amazing. All right, so this is their tandoor, right? So it's not a clay oven. This is a stainless steel oven. They hook the chicken and they hang them. Let them sit there for how long do they sit there for? How long do they bake for? One hour and 10 minutes. Two so far, 75 minutes. And that's Chinese style roasted chicken. Yes. Awesome. All right, let's go eat. Yeah. Look at he's cutting it up right here. That's awesome. All right, guys, it is time to try the food. Obviously, they're closed because of COVID, but they're letting us try the food right here. We're so excited. We're starving. It's almost 3 p.m. We're starting off with some fried wonton. So this is like the appetizer, right? Yeah, there's just a start here. Of it, that's a app, but things come in here. Oh, yeah, bring it all in. Bring it all in. So just go straight up like this. Take your time. It might have some heat. Take your time. This is going to be hot, right? Yeah. I'm going to like... I don't want to drown it too much. Yeah, nah, that's this... not good. Okay, <laughs> this is gonna be hot. We'll be hot. Mmm. But flavorful, right? Mm -hmm. nice. That's a flavor. Mm -hmm. Definitely spicy. Mm -hmm. This is not the spiciest one I've had. I've had super spicy Trinidadian like sauce before. And really hot. Just test it out. Just test it out. Mmm. <laughs> tasty. Super tasty. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. I lucked out. Nice, nice. Cool, good, good. good. I have a little more. I'm sorry. I'm just hungry. What do we have here? This is, this is a combination of things that could be both what we call cutters. Cutters. And cutters is, um, cutters will be any kind of finger food that you'll have while you're liming. Liming is what we call hanging out. Okay. So we have something, Singapore noodles here. Perfect. These are like glass noodles, guys. Beautiful noodles. Some beef and black bean. Oh, it's amazing. Love the color. Yeah. So sauce. rich, huh? Spicy pork here. Yeah. Spicy pork? Mm -hmm. Spicy shrimp. Pepper shrimp. Pepper shrimp, huh? Yeah. Some pepper shrimp here. And some chunky red shrimp makes us feel healthy. Huh? <laughs> makes you feel healthy, huh? <laughs> yeah. Hunger, hunger. Hunger, <laughs> hunger. So we're going to start off with the Singapore, Singapore. Yeah, man, do noodles. It. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Basic glass noodles, super mm -hmm. thin. Mm-hmm. Mm. Not too much in here, in terms of spice. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the curry flavor? Oh, it's great. Mm -hmm. A little bit of vegetables here in, in here too, right? And some meat, some chicken. Oh, there is some meat. Yeah. There it is. Mm-hmm. Mm. Nice, tasty. I love that you guys have this influence here. You would never <laughs> imagine you're in the Caribbean and you got yeah. some good noodles, you know? Yeah. That's the beauty. Mm -hmm. Fusions, you know, the, the different um, techniques, different ingredients. Mm. That's it. Oh, it's tasty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of flavor in here. Yeah, man. But I think some of the stuff is starting to seep in, right? Yeah, yeah. So we have a lot of the flavors here. I'm going to go on beef. here in the beef, right? I with you. Tell me about that. Mm -hmm. Mmm, nice and tender. Mmm, I love it. Is this the oyster sauce? I yeah. think it's the oyster sauce, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, some oyster sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Some hoisin sauce, that kind of thing. It's exactly, because dude, and they're mixing. The black bean. He mixes black so many sauce. things. Mm -hmm. Like it was like salt, sugar, pepper. Mm -hmm. Then he added a few different spices. Yeah. He adds uh, also some um, some vegetables. Every single dish had a bunch of vegetables. Mm -hmm. Oh man, so good. Nice beef. Yep. Jump on down. Spice and pork. Spicy pork, huh? Mm -hmm. Also, what I love about Chinese food is the, the sauces, you know? That's what made that one. That sauce. Mm hmm. Well, that's a chashu style pork. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is like the most unique thing about mm -hmm. Chinese cuisine the way they do their pork. Right. So you said chashu. 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 Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, the pink coloration. Mm hmm. Chashu. Not too spicy. No. Nothing here is too spicy. That's flavorful. Mm -hmm. It is an experience, it's a sensation, but it's more about the flavor, the pepper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lots of flavor. I mean, everything's so different, right? Mm -hmm. You have obviously different proteins, and you have the noodles, you have the vegetables, mm -hmm. and I think I have to jump on over here. Beautiful shrimp. shrimp. And this one has a tail, so I just go in like this. Mm -hmm. Boom. Mm. Tomato base. Tomato base, a little spicy. Mm -hmm. A little spicy. Nice, like very small shrimp, mm -hmm. huh? So the idea is that the full complement of flavors, given everything, you got a little sweet, you got a little spicy, you got a little kick from some pepper, yeah. you got the black bean, you know? 
So it's like the flavors of the land and the people, right? It's just a mix. Yep. Oh man, that's good. I met vegetables to make you feel healthy. <laughs> they make you feel healthy. <laughs> the only healthy thing here. <laughs> Oh wow, mm-hmm. Nice chunky broccoli. Mm, I love this. The carrot? No, the baby corn, baby corn. Mm. Mm. I could do Singapore noodles all day. Oh, all day, man. All day. They're so good. Mmm. I think we should try this guy. So what do they have as a filling? It should be shrimp. Shrimp, huh? Oh, it's like slimy. Yeah. Look, they, they're like hard to come up mm -hmm. apart, huh? <laughs> mm. That will be different from the fried wontons, you know? Mm -hmm. You get that nice sauce. Nice soft dough, mm -hmm. right? Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Oh, I love the, the sauce too. Yeah. So nice and light. Ginger in there. Mm -hmm. Ginger. It's a little pungent. Yeah. Not spicy, but you do have a kick. Mm -hmm. You have a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Mm. Mm. So tasty, so filling. Oh, now I'm getting spice. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, delayed reaction. Delayed, right? <laughs> and even this guy, you know, earlier I had it with wontons and I didn't feel it until later. But you know what? Now I'm just going all out. It's going to mix in here, right? Are you allowed to do that? Of course. So we're allowed to just start mixing? Of course. Like That's this? About. But the thing about the heat. Is that it will, it, even after when it hits you, mm -hmm. it doesn't really last that long. Yeah. If you realize it doesn't really linger. Yeah, they're you quick. Pass off and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some, you know, some countries, Thailand, I'd say, um, you know, Malaysia, even Chinese, mm -hmm. some of the, the heat mm -hmm. lasts a while. Yeah. You know, India is a little different. India is like spices. Mm -hmm. So it hits you, but it's not like this, like pepper, right, you know? Right. But here you have a mix. You have the pepper, yep. it, it doesn't linger too long, right? Now, we do have some oh, solutions that will linger, eh? you know? Actually, you guys see Pepper Man right there. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, man. Beware. Beware. <laughs> you now start. Mmm. <laughs> That's so good. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll be straight up honest with you. Miami, we don't have, like, any good Chinese. Well, there's probably, like, two or three new ones, mm. you know? But nothing, like, amazing. Mm. This is blowing me away. Yeah. I mean, this is like truly authentic China in the Caribbean, mm -hmm. you know? And there is a little slant to cater for the chili palette. Mm -hmm. that appreciates that spice, but you also appreciate a lot of like range of flavor. Okay. A deep, rich flavor. Got it. So, an application like this, it will taste the meat. The meat will come through, but it will be complemented with a lot of spice, a lot of seasoning. Yeah. Big on that. So if, you, so if you don't like spice and seasoning, yeah. don't come to Trinidad. <laughs> No bother, no bother. Don't bother. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Then you wanna do some of this chicken though? Oh chicken. Yeah. This is the ram style. Guys, I forgot there's still like three more dishes over here. Yep. So it's ram style. Mm-hmm. Oh, in terms of ram style, we're just talking about like a spicy, you know, peppers and that's basically it, right? And usually we're doing this by quarter portions or the portions while we're having some beers or we're drinking some of, rum. Of course. And that spice with us, you know, cut through. Does that mean they gave us a big portion here, right? Yeah. Cheers. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love the way. Look at that. It just fell apart. Mm. Oh, bubble tea? Mm. We got some bubble right here, guys. Can't wait to try this. It's going to be awesome. Thank you so much. Which one is this one? Matcha. Matcha. Mm. So good. Mmm. So tasty, huh? No. I love this about Chinese restaurants. They make their chicken, their duck, mm -hmm. almost like, like a glazy sauce. Mm -hmm. like, almost like caramelized. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So much flavor. Yeah. I mean, not spicy at all. And it's how tender it is too, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh man, it's so good. Nice and chunky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here you get like a chicken or beef, shrimp. You're getting a lot of each one, yep. right? Yep. It's not like a lot of vegetables and more chicken. Mm -hmm. It's the opposite. Mm. Chicken, chicken, what you pay for. Oh my gosh. It was great. It's almost like fried chicken, but light. Mm. Well, it is fried chicken. Oh, because it, it, it's like a roasted chicken, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I need to do some of this crispy skin pork. This is a scrap piece. Yeah, mm -hmm. Almost just like bacon. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Very similar, teach are wrong. 
Yeah. No? Nice bite there. Mm -hmm. Skin, crispy on top. Skin, yep. Mm hmm. Exactly like this. Oh, wow. Mmm. So good. Mm hmm. Do we mix this yeah. with anything? Of course, yeah. Everything. Run wild. <laughs> Run wild, you know? Run wild. I'll go a little wild here. I'll just grab some of this. Ah, some of these pies. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'll just put it right here. <laughs> Sorry, mama. <laughs> oh, I'm really into spice. This is good. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh yeah. Not too spicy. Yet. Yeah. Yeah. This is a massive spring roll, guys. Look at this. Huge. Oh, so it's chicken spring roll. Okay, so this for me is not a spring roll. This for me is like a huge empanada, but it's a light dough, right? Light dough. It's crispy. Oh, you're gonna add some soy sauce there. Dude, this is huge. It's a huge spring roll. Chicken roll. Yeah, cabbage, it's chicken, like mm -hmm. it's like spring roll, mm -hmm. spring roll with chicken. Oh, but the but the batter, it's a light layer, right? Mm -hmm. And it's not. I mean, of course, it's fried, but it's very light, mm -hmm. still crunchy. Crunchy, but not super crispy. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's an easy one, huh? Mm -hmm. oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> You know, that, you know that feeling you get when you're eating and you're super like mm -hmm. satisfied? Mm -hmm. Well, I like this thing here though. Mm -hmm. Balance. So they have a decent amount of chicken in it, but not too much. Mm -hmm. That's enough. Just complement the vegetables. Man, yeah, nice. Everything's like perfect here. Mm -hmm. In terms of the quantity, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Next up, we're going with the pork bun. And yeah. always on the bottom, we have yeah. this layer. I know, I know. You know, I've, I've oh, messed up. Yeah. <laughs> I've messed up plenty of times. <laughs> it's like I ate paper. <laughs> Just gonna toss it onto another plate. And what do you do? You just open it up right there, right? Dude, this is gonna be amazing. Look at this pork bun. Massive. Oh, it's nice and fluffy. It's like a pillow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would eat this every morning for breakfast. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Very flavor. Oh, wow. Mm hmm. It's like triple the size. Of course. If you tell me to put sauce on anything, I'll do it, you know? Mm. Oh, I love the pork. I love that sweetness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we need balance to this soy sauce. Set the door, right? Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Mm. I love how airy and fluffy the bread is, right? Yeah. The bun. Mm. Oh, it's a nice one. I mean, the size for one. Do you want to get some more sauce? The execution mm -hmm. of this real nice. Really nice. Yeah. This mm. way it's supposed to be. Steamed pork bun. Amazing. And then lastly, we have over here a mudslide with a cocktail. And over here we have the bubble tea. We're going to flush everything down with uh, a bubble tea. This is matcha. Love matcha. This, by the way, is not a common thing in Chinese restaurants of this ilk, right? Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> this is very unique to here. Where you can get some, you know, cocktails, the bubble tea for sure, mm. you know, mud size, Long Island iced tea. Oh, I love those jello, mm. those like jelly balls, huh, with boba? It exploded in America, past yeah. 10 years. Mm. You go to California, you find a boba shop every corner. Mm. It's insane. Mm. Mm. We like recently started getting dead, you know, not too long. I, I would think two years, mm. two, one, three years, that kind of thing. It's very um, new. And what are you trying? This is a Long Island ice cream. What do we to do it? <laughs> you know? Dump some good? alcohol. <laughs> so this is a cocktail. So they have a bar there. So if you want drinks, they got it. Yep. I'm going non-alcoholic today. Mm. Not bad. Mm. Not bad. So milky. Mm -hmm. And if you guys don't know what boba is, this comes from Taiwan from the 1980s and it's tapioca. So tapioca balls. It's amazing. I wouldn't have two of these a day. It's a lot of sugar, a lot of calories. But tasty as it. Mmm. So tasty. It's almost like a like a mocha frappuccino. Mmm. Mm -hmm. And that's the matcha. Mmm. With the whipped cream on top. Mm. And over here we have something called a mudslide. So you had a mudslide before? I think I have. It's been a while. Mm. So I'm gonna put it this one in. It's gonna go in and try it. 
Rich and key. No, rum. Rum. <laughs> right? <laughs> so much for going out without mm. having call, eh? <laughs> Oh, it's great. But it definitely is like a mudslide, right? It's like a chocolatey, mm -hmm. milky, vanilla cocktail. Oh, that's like a bomb in your stomach, man. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what was your favorite here? Shrimp, nice. Okay. I play with the shrimp, but I love beef and black bean. I love beef and black bean. So, so the beef for me is number one. I think this is number two. Oh, yeah, this is the one ton size. This is the one ton size. Mm. And of course, I mean, I, I, you kind of overlook the, the, the starch and the plate. Mm -hmm. Singapore noodles though? Yeah. Yeah, Singapore noodles. Are Singapore noodles are fire. Yeah. I think everything was super tasty, mm -hmm. lots of flavors. And again, this is the influence of China and Trinidad together mm -hmm. in one yeah. meal. Well, yeah. bro, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, Trinidad Chinese food here right outside of Port of Spain. Where are we right now? What's that? In Aranguas. 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 All right, guys, let's go into Doubles Den and let's build up. Our incredible oh, doubles. Let's go. You go let's go. Let's go. Doubles are basically traditional. You just yeah. fried bara with chickpeas. Yeah. Different relishes yeah. and chutneys on it. Yeah. These guys have taken it up a notch at this point in time. So they're adding things like curry duck on it, curry goat, curry chicken, lamb, different relishes Shrimp. and chutneys. Shrimp! <laughs> Epic experience here, guys, on RP Avenue Doubles Den. So let's try it out. And it's not just the meats here. It's also all the chutneys, all the sauces. So yeah, many sauces. Yeah. We actually were here earlier. We tried it a little earlier. <laughs> yeah, we did it earlier. It was great. It was amazing. I mean, we just had to come back. Oh, again. I can't wait. We have to do it again. Let's do it. All right. So that's the bara. Okay. So if you're having your doubles right here, we give you a tuna plate. So that's it, the plate and the bara. So we got the chickpeas, chana. Do you want chicken, goat, duck, or shrimp? So we're doing a mix. Everything. Just throw everything on the plate. So that's your chicken. It's a duck. Oh yeah. Look at that gravy. And that's your goat. So we call and it mutton. This is your lamb. Do you want shrimp? Right. Why not? Why not? Since we're, oh. all at, we're going all into this. Yeah. Throw everything That's in there. This side. one is um, sweet sauce. Shadow This one is pepper. Roast, roast pepper, yeah. And we have a we cucumber cochilla. What, what's cochilla? Black masala. Uh, yes, we have the mango and we mix it up with black masala, garlic, pepper. That's the spicy pickle? Oh, well, this is the plate. So this is like a fried bread, right? Look at this, David. Could you eat all of this? I think I could. We got the duck, we got the chicken, we got the goat, we got the lamb, we got the shrimp inside here. Curry chickpeas, garbanzo bees, chana, we call it here in Trinidad Tobago. And of course, these bars. This is known as the fried dough that you use to mop up all that great sauce inside here. Bars, B-A-R-A. -A. So they don't just throw it in the box, they hang it and dry it. Yeah. So you dry out the oil. A few minutes. To get yes, rid of that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's great. And here we go, eating it street food style on the street. That's it. Let's go. Three less it gets, David. This is what you've been waiting for. Oh, I can't wait. So you want to burst that bar, break it in half. There yeah, you go. so break it. You will tear it. Use that as a mop to get all that great sauce inside here. Oh what are you going gosh. first? Then? I don't even know. It's a mix, huh? It's just a smorgasbord of just good stuff. I'm <laughs> gonna go with the shrimp first. Are you going with the shrimp? I'm going with the shrimp. Nah, I'm just gonna soak up everything here. Just gonna get some of that beautiful chutney. Oh, cheers. Cheers, brother. Mmm. Mm. Wow. I love the butter. Mmm. It almost reminds me of like a, like an omelet in terms of texture. Right? It does have that, right? Yeah, yeah. I think when she says she hung it, you get a nice dry feeling towards it. Exactly. It just makes it more ready to absorb some of that nice liquid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it really absorbs. I mean, you just like drown it in the in this chutney, huh? Look at this. It's just a knuckle. You need to try this. So tender, man. Dude, I don't even know what I'm getting here. That's chicken. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Wow. What we got underneath there? No. Too many things. Oh, it's duck? That's duck. Dig into it. Oh my gosh. My hands are burning here, guys. It's amazing how these vendors come out here and they manage to keep the temperature fit. It doesn't affect the integrity of the product at all. The duck is just cooked perfectly. Oh my gosh, David. The duck is amazing. It's just like not tough or anything like that. It has that nice soft texture. That's from the braising method. All the masala, the curry spices, the coriander inside is cooked so perfectly. It's just simply brilliant. All right, so let me try this duck. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Take it, take it in, take it in, take it in. Mm. Oh my God. And you can tell it's duck. It has that nice mm -hmm. dark meat color to it. Dark meat. It's so good. Super tender. Mmm. Love the fat. Mmm. Brown the bone. 
Did you see? No, let me tell you something. That stuff is actually Shadon Benny. C H A D O N. Okay. It's her family to the Culantro. You'll be familiar with the Culantro. Lots in Puerto Rico and Miami. This is what we have here. Pretty much Shadon Benny's shop. It's pungent. It's a must when cooking Indian food and even in our Caribbean food. And that's what you do. You call that the perfect bite. You just suck up everything. That's what it is. Mm. <laughs> Comfort food. If it's anything that you come to Trinidad and Tobago for, make sure you come to the gourmet doubles. So gourmet doubles, this isn't your average doubles, right? right? And the thing about it is that we are going to be having the traditional style doubles. I'm going to carry you to show you how it's made from the from pretty much how it comes out of the oil. At three in the morning. At three in the morning. That's amazing. So, so we've actually taken it by notch here right now. You just mm. love that, huh? Mm -hmm. It's like curry explosion, pretty much. Dude, the amount that's, of flavors in here. Yeah, it's amazing. That's, that's the thing that makes our curry here in Trinidad and Tobago so different. Mm -hmm. It's not just traditional, convenience-style packed curry, with just turmeric inside of it and coriander. Mm -hmm. It's actually mixed with different masalas inside here, different spices, the turmeric, the cumin, also known as jeera. The yeah, it's, it's that inside. Indian influence, it's right? It's so amazing. And that wow. nice masala flavor that you're getting inside there is something that we take pride on and what really drives our curry to be so distinct here in the Caribbean. Oh my gosh. And I love how on the bottom we also have another butter. So when you get to that point, it's like drenched, huh? It's like absorbed the whole thing. Again, guys, this is bara, B-A-R-A. -A, mm. And this is the morsel of absorption of what we use in doubles. Mm. I think I got either lamb or goat. At this point, it doesn't matter. Uh, at this point, it doesn't matter, just right? To get a really nice, like, Mm, the one on the bottom. Mm. Dude, it's like nice and mushy. Mm. This is the real deal here. Mm. Amazing. You got bones? That's real. And it's not hard, right? It's not hard. The duck is great testament to its texture. Why is this so good? <laughs> it's just moorish. It's moorish. <laughs> Do you know what makes a duck taste so good? What actually pumps our curry flavor to exude so much uh, character in the duck is that we roast our duck first. We get a nice singe on it. So that nice roasted color you get before it's actually seasoned it, chopped up, roasted to get that nice nutty flavor. That is imperative on any Trini style duck. Half our plate is done. The meat is literally falling off the bones at this point in time. This is how epically tender this is. This is amazing. So this is like, uh, I guess the new take on it, right? Like more of a fusion style. Um, the, thing about it, the thing about it, David, there's a lot of contention with this. A lot of people are very curious about mm -hmm. doubles. They literally just want to enjoy doubles as they are. That is as a veg dish. Exactly, with just chana on it and so forth like that. Okay. So a lot of people are not into gourmet doubles like this. But it's so important that we showcase outside there what's taking place in terms of innovation. Doubles done. It's amazing. It's delicious. I love it. And this is our pizza in you guys. So good. You could drink it. Put it in a I'll drink it. Put it in a shot glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll do a little shot. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good. So that one is a shrimp double. And your sauces. Oh, the butters. Mm -hmm. What amazing butter. So for the combo there, basically with like four or five meats, together with the barras, chutneys, every full works. That was about 100 TT. It's equivalent to about 15 to 16 US. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, David, let's go eat. So after a two minute drive, we're here at Yosef Gyros or Yiros. It's on the same strip, we just have to go around. Correct. We're actually on the uh, the, the, the eastern side of the RP Avenue right now. Okay. It's a long strip pretty much. Yeah. So you can just walk it, traverse it, and you're going to see all these different types of foods. We just had the gourmet doubles. Let's go try some of that Syrian Lebanese food. You get the Hiro's, uh, the baba ganoush, all that good stuff. So and, let's go see what it's about. And this is like real street food, like right here on the street. Great friends, great times, great food, and it's packed. Lots it's of people here. It's an institution. Okay. Yeah, most definitely. So I know you're going to enjoy it. I'm excited. Let's go. These guys are too nice to let me in the back. So they're cooking a lot of food here. They have the lamb shawarma over there. They have chicken over here, fried chicken. They have potatoes. And over here, they're doing almost like a mix, right? So you have chicken, you have beef, and they make it into like these pitas. Falafel. Like, falafel as well? Yeah. Love it. This one is the grill, this is for the veggies. This one for the veggies. This is Elia. Elia. Elia, matador también. Matador también? Yeah. Beef? We're going to do a lamb and beef mix. Oh, look at this. They're adding, so what is that? Paprika? They're adding some other stuff onto the, the fries? Here, yeah, aceite. No, it's chavo They don't just do shawarmas. They do a lot of chicken dishes too, right? Yeah, so like yeah. fried chicken fried wings. Chicken, you get the wedges, you get the, the Arabic potatoes. Oh, you wow. Get a full line of stuff. I mean, that's the beauty about Trinidad and Tobago. 
Yeah, even you come to the Lebanese Syrian place, but they've also had that fusion of Trinidad and Tobago. And whatever the palate here that people love, they try to mix the spices together. That's what makes our food so eclectic and distinct. <laughs> I love the way you talk, bro. <laughs> All right, guys, so he's building our amazing gyro. He's going to mix this all up, yeah. and then he's going to put it all on the pita with the lettuce. So it's a little different the way they build it here, right? Yeah, yeah why not? Slice. Slice. That's the minced beef, right? Mm -hmm. And then that's the lamb on top, tomatoes. Everything changes in a chemical form when the heat hits it, right? The mushrooms inside there, caramelization, barbecue sauce on top there. It's like a harmony of flavors. It's an amazing amount of flavors in there, huh? It's amazing. And just like what I told you about, like when you tried our curry, we mix a lot of spices. Throwing in pineapples. Que paso ahí? This guy is too funny. Are right, you going to chop it up? Perfect. The aroma coming out of there? Yeah, it's amazing, right? Now. Oh, man. What's the pineapple? It's never too much. Ooh, never. <laughs> the fast and the furious. Se ve increíble esto. You did it so fast, clean it all. Ay, ay. Uh, it's a taratol. No, garlic, garlic. Garlic, garlic. Man, garlic is the best. Pineapples on top. You got sweet, you got savory going on in there. You got it. Punch and save the garlic. You just know it's going to taste good. Baby. So we got Habana. So it's a mix, right? So it's lamb and beef with uh, bell pepper. Mushrooms, onions. You got pineapple inside there. You got the barbecue sauce. You got the ketchup. You got the garlic and sauce. You know, there's a fusion of flavors and the sauces coming together it just creates that ability to just say shades in your mouth. This is amazing. This I is mean, huge. I remember the pitas were toasted. So you get a nice crispy exterior going on. Yeah, like, like caramelized, right? So he has a way he did it, right? To un unwrap it? Oh, just like that, huh? This is a talent when you wrap a, a hero. Oh, okay, right? okay. Oh boy, that's what are we talking about? It's still crispy on the exterior, so it's not soggy. It's the, I was just in Lebanon. Lebanon is like the, the place of garlic. It's like garlic everywhere. The garlic house. The garlic. So he basically just ripped it open like this, right? Yeah, he just ripped it open. Like, like, like a little hat? Take off the hat? Take off the hat. And then, oh. he, and then he just tops it up with a little more garlic on top. Oh. It's hot. It's piping. It's, it's, it's piping it's hot. It's piping hot. It's like a little it's towel. It's a volcanic <laughs> towel. And it's what And this is what he did, right? He takes the garlic sauce and you just drizzle it on just like that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's what he did. Guys, cheers. cheers. Good. Mm. Oh my god, so many flavors and textures here. So amazing. You know I realize mm -hmm. the textures of the meat is different. You got the strips of the lamb, mm -hmm. you got the crumbly little bit of the beef inside. It's almost caramelized. Mm. Oh wow, and refreshing salad in here too. Mushrooms, nice and soft. The, the pineapple and also is very sweet inside there also. So you get a balance of sweet, savory. Talk from the garlic. It's like very tropical. Hey, the mess everywhere we go. <laughs> everywhere we go. <laughs> Let's do it. Mm. 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 With no you get a gyro. Like this? Like this place. Oh man. It's like the ultimate gyro. Oh, it's nice and saucy. Mm -hmm. You can see all the little caramelized bits of the mincemeat inside here. And not the lamb inside, the mushrooms. It's like a symphony, a harmony, bass, guitar, mm -hmm. keys, it just comes together. It's like Beethoven. Wow. Oh. This is a great meal. I feel good right now. Mm. Plus the garlic, right? Mm. And it's almost like a messy burrito, you know? You know anything about sloppy joes? Mm -hmm. You just enjoy the comfort feeling of a sloppy joe, just eating. Okay, messy. It's reminiscent of this. They, they had to, they had Look to. Look at those! <laughs> you got the ketchup and the, and the barbecue sauce on top there, the garlic. Ooh. You can see the steam in that, guys. Look at that. Oh, see? oh, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> you, know, you know when you know it's gonna burn? <laughs> this one's gonna burn. Mm. Oh, man. The sauce makes it. Mm -hmm. You know, when you make good quality homemade fried chicken, mm -hmm. oh. no intimidating at all, not over seasoned, it's just perfect. It's Christmas like. Mm -hmm. Plus, with this, I don't even know, it's like a jam. That's, that, that's ketchup with garlic. That's ketchup? Mm -hmm. It looks more like a, like a guava paste. I mean, you know, it's nice and hot and fresh. Wow. <laughs> just falls off. This garlic sauce, right? And it's not sharp right now. It's just so mellow. 
Mm -hmm. It's creamy. Very mellow. Good Lebanon, the garlic, it's like super pungent. It's like, whoa. Mm. You're just burping it up like after. Mm -hmm. This one you could drink, right? <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's like a shot. You want a shot of garlic? Literally, we'll drink, drink that. <laughs> then obviously, fries, same sauce, right? Mm -hmm. oh. That's ketchup, though? Yeah. So five pita chips. Pretty much when you have a lot of pitas around and they're breaking and bursting on you, I guess. Be innovative and just fry them, right? Yeah, all the Every leftover time. stuff, just throw it to fry. And the season, black pepper mm. sauce, sumac. Oh, sumac? Sumac. Mm -hmm. the, the Lebanese spice. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. a bit of chili powder inside, yeah. Mm. It's good, right? So good. The garlic, the fried pita. The simple things, the mm. simple things. This in a salad, you yeah. know? It's gonna add an excellent crunch, like a crouton. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And so that extra plate they brought to us is the same thing we have here in the gyro, just without the pita. I guess if you're watching carbs and you don't want the pizza, you can get it inside. You go with that. You go with that, you know, so it's just like lean protein, you're going to the gym, eat that. <laughs> you don't mind the carbs, guys. I'm going to get one last bite because it's so good. Actually, take this off, please, and I'll take that. What, this? Yeah. Mm. I'm eating this. I know. Mm. Wow. Do we have both in it? Oh, I don't yeah. want to. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. The ultimate gyro. Mm -hmm. See, my boy here is from Syria, but he was in Venezuela, so we speak in my language. <laughs> Thank you. Gracias, gracias, hermano. My Syrian brother right here. <laughs> yalla, yalla. No lo vemos. Cuídate. Ciao, ciao. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. See you later. Bye. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, guys. After a quick three-minute drive, we're here. At all these food trucks. The world famous Savannah, the heart of Port Look at this. You're gonna, definitely gonna have a really a great experience. As you can see, smoke is emitting from the chimneys, there's bellowing of smoke coming out. Oh wow. And you can get your room in the atmosphere already. You're just getting barbecue, you're getting curry, you're getting roti, you're getting corn soup, you're getting wings. Wow. Look at this. Oh. I tell you, this night will don't sleep. They don't Trans sleep. Vigo, our nocturnal life wow. just kicks on. We're a party country. Dude, this is amazing. <laughs> hey guys, how are you doing? Are you okay? Everything good? Yeah. So how do you make this? How do you make this pickle? This delicious lime. Lime? And it's so chicken for today. Right. So let's try some of your chicken for salt. Alright, All right. so what's gonna happen is that there are two elements that you gotta remember. You gotta pick this up and you gotta chew it up and bite it up. You're gonna get either the chicken feet or the pig's feet. But what really, where the flavor resides, is actually in the sauce itself. So I've done it before in Mexico. So basically it's a bunch of cartilage. You just go in, yeah. just chew around, pull out the meat, the fat, and then spit out the bones. Correct. The, the cartilage. I was gonna add some more sauce. Add some more sauce, please. So let's dive into this. You wanna try the cucumber? Let's try the cucumber first so you get an idea of the flavor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Wait, my chicken butt. Very crunchy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pickles, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can see it's all that cartilage inside there. It's nice and soft now. <laughs> so you just go in and you just. But then it don't take long as pickles. But it's like that stays there. It's not for a long period of time. But mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. it's still got a crunch, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gotta get rid of that, that little cartilage, right? Play straight gelatin, you know? Yeah. Oh, you suck. It's good collagen, you know? <laughs> it is. Good for your cheeks. Yeah, yeah for all sure. All the girls outside with the Botox, this is what you need to have. Just all, the, all the nip fillers. If you like exotic food, here you go. Look at that jiggle. Oh my god. Beyonce will be jealous right now. All right, all right. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. This is my favorite. Yeah, it's tastier. It's actually a lot more jello here, a lot more yeah. fat. That's the difference in hip foot, but they stop. Mm. Mm. This is good. Oh. This is where it is. This is great. And it's easy to get through too, you know, it's not so hard like the other one. Yeah. The other one oh, you yeah. have just too many bones. I love this one. Mm. Oh wow. I love it because it's pickled too. So it's a little different in terms of flavor. Yeah. I've had it like regular like in Mexico. This yeah. And they add sauces. They literally have to add sauces for tasting something. You know what I think you should do? Give us a little bit of shadow Benny inside there. Now what I need you to do, one last thing, David. Yeah, tell me. Is this where you take the shot? Oh, you, you know, just the, drink you, it? Know, you know leche, leche de tigre. <laughs> you gotta take this. This stuff is gonna make you really prolific. 
When you drink it, it's gonna strengthen the back. Go, boy, go. Go, 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 go. Not so bad, not so bad. <laughs> it's not so, it's not as terrible as the leche de tigre, right? No, no, no. It's nice sharp. Yeah, it's, it's, it's actually like a nice, nice herbal broth. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's not so bad. Exactly, you know. How much is it? $50 or 5 US. That's what we roll with, brother. <laughs> yeah, it's all about those Benjamins. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, he had a name? David, David. My channel. David's oh, been here. Okay, so we decided to go with what? We decided to go to the, the pineapple and mango chow. We got the best of both worlds. We got watermelon inside there. I'm seeing pineapple. You have mango. Those green specs, Shadow and Benny, right? What's that? This is your magic sauce, right? Looks fire, man. Oh, you mix it up. Salt. Salt, so salt. You pretty much doesn't want to add it before because it breaks down the fruit. So this is the actual thing. Is that how it is, huh? So here we go. We got the bag. I'm ready. All right. So where do you go? Try the pineapple first. Pineapple. Oh, big one. Mmm. Wow. 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 So it's like... It's pickled, but it's spices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's pepper too? It's pepper inside there. Yeah. Everything is, it's all about the balance of sweet, savory, spicy, everything inside here. Yeah. Our food is very colorful. Mm -hmm. So as you would have tasted, especially with the doubles earlier on, we just keep on piling on more and more flavor for a flavor experience. More sauces. Mmm. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> now it hits you, right? So let's see what else is in here. I'm seeing the mango seed. Whoa. <laughs> You know you gotta drink that later, right? Oh yeah, drink all that later. Every, everything that we that has liquid, you go. Oh, the watermelon. Watermelon right here. Let me see what's for. Oh, it's the mango seed. Oh, the, that's the mango seed. Yeah, you can imagine. Look at the character on that. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look at that. The mango seed. Okay. So you just suck that, right? Mm. Nothing goes to waste, man. Nothing. I'm gonna try the watermelon now. I haven't had that yet. Spiced watermelon. <laughs> you know what I get from it? It's like reminiscent feelings of gazpacho. Gazpacho. Mm. Mm -hmm. This guy's. Look at this. Mm. Oh baby. You could see that sauce. Oh my gosh. What's that? I have no idea. I see magic fruit. Magic fruit? Oh, it's a prune. Oh prune. Mm. It's like a hard prune though. Very meaty. Mm-hmm. And then after you're done, you go in here and you, you drink, right? Drink it. Let me see if I can. Like it's just like doing beer. Let's do it. I don't want to spill chug, it all over chug, myself. Chug, 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 chug. Woo! Oh. Mm. Man, the spices mixed with all those juicy fruits. Bro, it's amazing. I want you to experience the trade out thus far, brother. Woo! I feel good. I haven't had this many mixes of flavors in a long time so many wow your tongue is just like registering stuff in your brain right now yeah it's like what's going on where am i which country am i in mm -hmm. and i told you that's Love exactly this. what our people are about we have so many rich heritage and creeds and races inside here that everything just harmonizes and comes together mm -hmm. you really taste the people of Trinidad and Tobago when you eat here okay so we mix pineapple orange and Passion fruit. Passion. Okay, yeah. we'll do one. Let's get a medium for him. Let's medium. So these are fresh juices, right? Yeah, all fresh, all natural. And this one is what? Grapefruit. Grapefruit. Orange. Pineapple. Oh, so it's four juices. Four. I mean, four fruits. All right, so passion fruit, grapefruit. Orange. Orange pineapple. and pineapple. Amazing. Oh my God. Oh, it's like sour, it's sweet, it's everything. Mmm. Oh, so refreshing. And all this is fresh juice, right? All fresh. all fresh. Amazing. So how much is it for this one? Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. So whatever that is. With the three US dollars. Two or three US dollars? Mm-hmm. I think it's perfect. You know, after having all this food, this is like a palate cleanser, you know, cleans you out, and that is it. No more food for me. You're you? Good for the night, huh? Are you good? I think I'm good for the night also. That sauce <laughs> filled me up and especially the chow. Yeah. Yusuf's food was, oh my God, it was so delightful. And of course that uh, 
duck and goat and lamb and doubles every oh. night. Shiraz, how you doing, Chef Shiraz, Mohammed? <laughs> How's everything? Good, 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 good. So, nice training, thank you so much. So you're taking me around today. What are we doing? We try some local delicacies, some local cuisine that is so significant to our heritage here in Trinidad and Tobago. So what do they have here, Shiraz? They have from Alupais. They're gonna have sweet and savory. Okay. Sweet and savory. They're gonna have roti. They're gonna have alu pies. They're gonna have all the different chokers. We're gonna say meaning vegetable chokers. Okay. Meat chokers. So choker is really the significance of the different variations as well. And, and chokers is like something that hits oil, right? It's like fried. Tomatoes, eggplant. Oh, so so vegetables. Okay, okay, okay. Perfect. <laughs> and so here we have it. Hey, how you doing? How's everything, guys? Yo, how you doing? Welcome to Thank you so much. So you're Sharita's son. Awesome. So what's your name? I'm Ishmael. I'm Ishmael. Ishmael Kasi. So that's why the new name Kasi is creation. Okay, fantastic. So basically, I just want to give a little intro about our business. We serve breakfast, lunch, and bakery items. We open every day from 3 a.m. except Tuesdays. That's our day off. And we open on public holidays and weekends. Um, unfortunately, food places had to close during COVID times and we became adaptable and converted to a bakery. We are now serving breakfast, lunch, and bakery items as well. So now this is a grab and go spot, right? As soon as you get here, this is all the bakery items. So you have like almost like empanadas, right? Custard tart, chicken pie. Over here we have some of the different sauces. Morning, guys, morning. Super early, right? <laughs> and now let's go inside. All right. Hello, hello. Morning, how you doing? Oh wow. Okay, so over here we just saw how he made two different roti. So what he did is he just grabbed dough, mixed it with some flour, all-purpose flour, then he stuffed it with dahi. So split lentils, right? Split peas, okay? So he did that and then he rolled out a big bread, threw it on this griddle, and this is called what? Parata. Oh, this is a bit, okay. Or, or basapsha. Basapsha, yeah. yeah. Local slang, basapsha. Yeah, so he said basapsha and then he did it and I'm like, oh, this is like literally a parata. So he just gets clarified butter, throws it on this little grill, and then it just cooks up, right? It just starts to bubble up. See all the little layers? Oh man, nice and fluffy this one. Oh, this is how he makes basapsha. So what we saw earlier was not roti, it is dan puri. So he just made it into this big ball full of split peas and then he's rolling it out, flattening it, then throwing it here on the grill. And as you can see, it just starts to get cooked really, really fast. Like, like literally two minutes, yeah. it's done. Dal puri, yeah. beautiful, thick bread. So almost very similar to the last one, yes. right? But this one is just stuffed with dal. With dal. Right. That's, it. That's it. So dahi puri is basically the roti. Yes. So it has to swell up like that, right? Yeah, it means it's finished cooked. So nice and airy. Curry potatoes. So right here we have curry potatoes and that's curry chicken. Nice. Oh, that's spicy, huh? Homemade pepper sauce. And this is a mango kuchula. It's yeah. very popular for the local roti and pies and doubles and so on. So that's the standard, right? Oh, so now he's folding it into like a sandwich, huh? And this is our roti. This is calorie. It's a mixture of flour, split piece powder, mondial powder, and seasoning. Oh, it's more like a bonda. Wow, look at that. They get crispy so fast. Yeah, it's not like a pakora, it's more like a bonda, right? So it's almost like a donut. Right, yeah, correct. But this is gonna be savory, not sweet. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Bulon brung and ice, and you dip in a little chutney, mango chutney molas, and you just pass it. Oh, we have to try it. We're trying this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bring a plate and stuff. Oh, please, give me the whole thing. Oh, man, what do we have here? This is all bacalao, all codfish. Yeah. So this is salted codfish, and they're taking it apart. Woo! So Look at this. Well, that's, that's how it comes, huh? Yeah, Perfect. So you have to it, remove the skin, and then we'll have to boil it to remove the salt. Yeah, so right there, she's removing the skin. Look at that. It's tough, huh? Beautiful. And over here, too. Wow. Look at that. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right, we're ready. Oh, we're going to eat right here? Eating in the kitchen. This is the only way we do it. <laughs> I love it. This is the finished product. All right, here we go. We're starting off with some pilori, right? Yes. The mango, like chutney? Yeah, mango chutney, a little more, uh, little more spicy. Okay. And we have a, a different variation of mango, sweet mango as well. A sweet mango. A little more, more, more sweet than this one as well. It looks like a thick soup. Yes, there's a yes. hot sauce. Just dip and go in? Maybe in here oh, first? Yeah. Yes. Good. You want that? You know, it's really Mmm. Oh, wow. Nice. It's like very like soft and spongy at the same time. Outside, not too crispy. Mmm. I want to double dip, guys. I have to. Oh man. I see how it absorbs mm -hmm. the chutney, the mango. Looking absorbing it a bit. Mmm. 
So it's green mango, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, what a mix right there. And this one also is very slimy. Exactly. And it complements the, the polo as well. Mm -hmm. It complements the polo and the polo absorbs yeah. the flavor. So yeah. both flavors together. Yeah, both flavors together. <laughs> very packed with flavor here. Let's see, just get, open this fluffy, yeah. beautiful donut up. Mm -hmm. Cook trill. And then I'm going to just dip it right here like this. See, it absorbs yeah. that beautiful green. Look at and that. It just drips. And it brings all the, the chickpeas flavor as well. Mm. So you're getting flavors of Trinidad right there. Mm. Compact flavors of Trinidad right there. And this is one of the popular street food as well too. If you want to go, grab and go, they're gonna go. I think we should try hot well, sauce. Oh try try this other one. So I'm gonna try this one. Spicy. Think it's spicier. Yeah. Alright. This is the mango kuchula. Mmm. Mmm, more pepper. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember that all of we have the mango variation here because we also do tambran as well. Okay. Tamarind is complement as well. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Nice chunks of mango. Yeah. Got the pepper throughout. Yeah. It's not as slimy as this yeah, one. Exactly. This one's spicier, actually, yeah. I felt. It is. Yeah, right? I think here is just for the black pepper. Right. And if you want to, hot sauce. You just go a little, <laughs> little wild. That's my, that's my belly at 3 in the morning. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's hot. That's going to wake up. That's how we go. Okay. That's gonna it's gonna bring out the sweats here. Oh my gosh. Any more. Oh this is the best right here. This one? Whole thing right there. Mm-hmm. It just like soaks it up, and, right? And that's the correct way to eat it. Yeah, right? That's with your hands, that's it. Thank you. Beautiful. That's the correct way. Just very chunky. Yeah. Hot sauce. You get some of that beautiful hot sauce. And most of the hot sauce in Trinidad is made more with the scotch bonnet pepper. Oh my god, I'm bringing the sweats out. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. Like amazing. So this is aloo puri. So what is it? Basically it's aloo, which is potatoes. They stuffed it, they rolled out the dough, and that's what we saw right here. So then they put it on this beautiful little griddle, and then he keeps adding some ghee, flips it, more ghee, flips it, and then he folds it, and here we have it. Perfect. Looks great. I don't know if I can eat this and the roti, but... <laughs> We still have doubles later, dude. And that's traditional just like that, right? Fold it like that. All right, so next up we're gonna try the pepper roti. Okay, so how do we do it? Just break it there and... Just break it, so right. traditional way, just go with one hand, right? But Both hands, right? Both hands. Try to get it full in. Okay, yeah, I got filling in here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Take from the top here, you wanna get more from the top as well. Mm. Love it, lots of layers. Again, very flaky, mm. Now I'm getting some of the inside, right? right. So there's some carrots, lots of pepper in here. Yeah. Wow. You're going to put potato as well inside there as well? Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, yeah. And there's all the cheese as well in there. Mm-hmm. So and all those flavors combined together mm -hmm. with the roti. Because the roti basically is a parata roti. It's just a, like layers, yes. right? And right. The, the stuffing is like a lot of stuffing right. here. So there's at least about four or five ingredients inside there mm. that complements the pepper as well. That's it. Now that is Moorish. You know, you know, this is Moorish, this you know, is Moorish. You know, in Italian cuisine, they call it stromboli. A stromboli, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Similar thing, right? <laughs> right. It's just dough mixed with a lot of ingredients. Right, you see? Oh, it's good. <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> I actually keep going, but... <laughs> and what when you have a roti, you must have a red solo. So this is a local soft drink made here in Trinidad, and this is a must have when you have roti. So you're gonna take a bite of the roti and have a sip and tell us how it eats. Okay, so how do we start this thing? Right, so we're just gonna un unravel. Okay. Both people. Like that. And we can hold it up like you hold a like a, a quesadilla or a, like a wrap or something like that. Alright, <laughs> that's it. So everything is in there full already. So this is a uh, breakfast uh, <laughs> what is this? Uh, <laughs> breakfast, brunch, meal. Look how massive it is. <laughs> so I just bite. Yes. You can't split this, right? You go right you go right ahead, you go right ahead. Right oh wow. Mmm. Everything in there. So got potato curry, a mayo curry. No, mayo curry, chicken curry. The there's a different variation. That's black goat roti, that shrimp roti, that veg roti, chicken mm. roti, beef roti. And David, there's something that's very important to complement with this. Uh, the soda. When you come to Trinidad, you must have a roti and a red solo. And a red solo. <laughs> like Han Solo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everything, everything complements each other. Uh, oh, that was refreshing. That mm -hmm. yeah. Cherries, huh? Yeah. See? Nice cherries. Woo! 
Oh, great combination, yeah, right? Yeah, uh, see? This is good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking a lot of spice. I don't know if it was from earlier or what, but... <laughs> it's like a plump sandwich. Huge. Look at this. The roti. Massive, texture. super thick, nice texture. Look at that, look at the filling right there. And obviously if you want, you can add some of those chutneys, but you don't have to, right? You don't have to, yeah. yeah I mean, when they, when they open it and they pack it for you, you have your choice of whatever filling you want, whatever extra condiments you want as well too. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Add pumpkin and the bag, yes. yes. Yeah. Pumpkin too? Yeah, the deeper you bite, the more you get. Yeah. The more saucy it is down there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So everything, everything, everything acts, reacts together. Mm -hmm. That from the, the jar and the puri, the, the curry, wow. the different flavors as well, the green season, the, the spices, the aromatics. So you have a, a package of trini in a roti, right? In a roti. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to have to get to go, man. Maybe one bite. Excellent. It's fantastic. Wow. A lot of combination. Yeah. Mmm, the pepper. And everything works together. Mm -hmm. Everything comes in together and works together. And, and like I feel spice now? Yeah. So that's why you have this, right? Yeah, uh, exactly. Well, I'm pretty full, and we still have doubles right now, but it's all good. Four in the morning, we're ready to go. My friend, how you doing? Everything good? Okay, so I am Sharita. It's a the owner of this place. I started it in the Family business. Amazing. Cassie's Creations. Woo! That was so good. I'm full. <laughs> After literally a one-minute drive, we are here. This is Donkey and Odie's Doubles. Right here. Doubles and pies. Hi guys. Again, this is somebody's home. They do it all here and then people come in, they buy it, take it to the streets. Morning. Morning. How you doing, my friend? Good. Yeah. How's everything good? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Sorry, what's your name? Oli. Oli. Yeah. Perfect. You're, you're on the side. <laughs> Amazing. All right. Good morning. Morning, morning. How's everything good? Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. All right, so that's the bada, right? Beautiful. How's everything good? So here they're making doubles and they're making pies. Those pies are lamb pies. It, this is crazy. I've never seen them throw pies into the fire, into the oil, and it cooked that fast. I think it was like four seconds. Like four seconds. She literally just drops it in, cooks, takes it out. Boom, done. I mean, that's some, that's some hot oil. <laughs> and I'm feeding the spices here. So what is bara? Basically dough. They throw it in the fryer, then they put it on the stick, and then let it dry out, and that's it. How many do you do a day? You do like a thousand of these a day? Not so much? I mean, I just saw you do 20 in one minute. <laughs> so they made the bara and they made the pies. They have a few different variations of pies. I yeah. think we're going to try the eggplant, right? Eggplant and there's potato as well too. Okay. So we're going to try both of them. Fantastic. With, with the doubles. With the doubles, yeah. <laughs> so the way it works, is they make non-stop baras from 3 a.m. up until around 7 in the morning. Yeah. They put them in these coolers and they ship them out to vendors. Directly. And these vendors all are in the area of Port of Spain. Yeah, all the way here as well. Look at that beautiful chenna, guys. Chenna, chenna. Beautiful chickpeas. Oh, what are these? The sauces. So, what are you making there? Alu. Oh, you just alu pies. Little potato pies, huh? Yes, finally gonna try traditional, authentic doubles. Beautiful. Here we go. Oh, it's gonna be so good. We're, what birds are chirping? There's a monkey right there. <laughs> <laughs> and a dog. <laughs> Alright, the pie is coming. Thank you. Eat one bacon pies, two eggplant pies, barra, three doubles, and chickpeas, china, um, healthy condiments. Uh, we have roasted up a shadow berry, mango kuchula again, which is very, very popular with our local cuisine as well. And we have another sweet sauce as well. So there's four condiments, and then even more the elaborate one. So we have four condiments this morning to accompany our doubles, which is one of the number one street food. In the world. You have a china there. Just put it on top? Put it on top. You have some roasted hot pepper here. You have a, um, you have a sweet sauce. Mm -hmm. And then we have a mango here as well. Get some shallow belly. A little pinch. A little pinch. Here. So I'm just going to add the same thing as you, right? A little mangoes on there. I'm going to add roasted pepper. Roasted pepper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll add shallow belly, which is a, like a cilantro. It's uh, culantro, right? Eh? Sola, yeah. Well, it's culantro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the plate. This is a, a traditional double. And now we are turning it into a double. Double. Like that. That's it. Boom. And that's how the doubles was born. This is how it was born. <laughs> so somebody was just like, hey, I want two. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. This is going to be delicious. You're going to take a top bar off. 
Top bar off, okay. And you're gonna pick up the china and the condiments. And mm. I overdid it with one. <laughs> <laughs> it's spicy. Mmm, it's nice. It's not too oily. Right. You let it like, yeah. like drain out, right? And the barrel texture is not too thick, it's not too thin, it's just mm -hmm. a nice flow texture as well. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very airy. Yeah. No, I'm very light. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh. See? Now same thing. Just See? roll it up. Just roll it up now. Same thing, guys. Just mm -hmm. like that. And you literally can just turn into this like beautiful taco, right? Yeah. Like a spongy taco. <laughs> this is a great morning. <laughs> so you think I should try the cheese and the eggplant? Yeah, try the cheese. Okay, so let's just cut it in half, right? Just break it. And also, what is important, we, mm -hmm. a lot of people have the china with it as well. Oh, they add it inside? Yeah, some people, some people just want the cheese alone. Okay. But some people go a little further and add the china as well to this. Yeah. Wow, okay. amazing. So this is like an open empanada, Yeah. basically. Mmm, mmm. Good. Love the dough. Mm -hmm. mm. Very soft, very savory. Mmm, yeah. nice cheese. Not melted too much. You're gonna make carrots. Give it a nice little and it's, yeah. refreshment. And it's not too heavy. Mm -hmm. It's not too heavy. Texture is not too heavy. Light. Very light. Mmm. Very light, depending how much you ate earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Love these pies are nice and soft, yeah. a little crispy. All right, let's try it. They're like flash fried. Yeah. That's what it's called, flash yeah. frying. So it's not, that's why it's not so crispy. You know, it's still a little doughy. Yeah. And you just wrap it up like that, right? That's it. My man, cheers. Mm -hmm. Do better. Oh. You're gonna fresh cheese and the texture the egg flat. Mm -hmm. The egg flat is coming through, so it's... Oh, it's coming perfect. through the whole thing. Yeah. It's perfect. Mmm. Mmm. And, and it's crispy. Mmm. Mm. The light oil, I like that it's not like crazy amount of oil. Yeah. They dry it out a little bit, right? I'm done. That was amazing. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> now I need a... I need to go to sleep. <laughs> Boy, chef. We're Jason here. Peru. We're doing it again. This is actually my hometown of uh, Santa Cruz. This is where I was born, raised. So I'm really passionate about it. I'm proud to bring you the Roti Cafe here, Tut Bagai here in Santa Cruz. They, they just don't do traditional rotis with the potatoes and chan inside there. They're doing lobster roti, turkey roti, pork roti, shrimp roti, a whole varied amount. And even different times of the year, you even get bush meat roti, wild meat roti inside what? there. So you gotta try this today. The lobster roti is perfect. It's a popular space for truckers passing through. Very economical and of course, very tasty. We gotta try this. Let's go. These are massive guys, massive. So we have, this is the turkey roti what I have right now. Okay. And it's all nicely wrapped up. As again, this is made for just on the go. Take it and go. Mm -hmm. But you have the PS de Resistance, which is the lobster roti. People travel from far and wide throughout Trinidad and Tobago just to come and get this. For this one. So always like this, right? And always very, very thick. It's like a thick yeah. burrito. That's exactly, that's what it's like an Indian burrito. That's what people refer to it as sometimes. Wow. Oh. But it's wrapped with that dalpuri skin. That mm -hmm, dalpuri. You can see it's nice and yellow right there. All right. So you ready to do the gun? I'm ready. Let's do this. Ooh. So, you know, it just breaks apart on you, but you gotta it have, it's a skill when you're eating a good roti. You just go, there's no polite way. Ooh. You just dive into it. It's like just, everything's flying it's right flying. here. That's in Santa Cruz. Okay, let's breeze. go. Let's, let's go. go. Oh my God. Wow. It's like butter. Oh man. It tastes like gravy. Mm hmm It's like a nice light lobster curry. Mm -hmm, with chickpeas. Mm -hmm. What else is in here? Oh my gosh. I got the turkey. That turkey cooked perfectly. Oh, here we go again. Mm. Oh my gosh. This That's is the best good. roti. That's good. This is the best roti. Oh, number one. By mm. far. Yeah. I told you, everyone comes here to try this. Mm hmm. Nice light thaw, right? Everything's super light here. And you realize that the slippies, it just mellows and just melts in the gravy, right? Mm hmm. Oh. Look at this. So plump, so heavy. <laughs> it's value, right? Nice Try piece. Try piece. We'll get a nice piece right here. Try this turkey. Mmm. So fresh. It's, you know, it's so good. 
Oh, it's so good. Mm. That is really good. Wow. What else is in here? I mean, I got so many flavors. It's not just turkey meat. No, it's not just turkey meat. The bone does impart a lot of flavor inside there. Mm -hmm. We believe that when we're stewing or currying meats, we leave the bone on it because it just adds to the stock and the gravy flavor. Oh, wow. Mm. The nice. paws off the bone, you can see mm -hmm. all the bones are clean and nice. Look at that. Yeah. Just like this, right? Look, it's literally melting off the bone. Look at the gravy here, David. <laughs> the gravy, huh? You see, everything just mellows and meshes together and harmonizes. Mm -hmm. You got that, that chickpeas inside there, garbanzo, chana, what we call it here. Mm -hmm. The gravy for the, the turkey, the potatoes, and the little split piece just melts inside everything. It's a perfect package. <laughs> it's, you just gotta go in here and just like... Mm. The lobster, man. So, this is the ultimate roadie. I'll, I'll say, I don't think I'm gonna have a better roti on a strip. Really? Could it safely be probably the best roti you've ever had? It's up, it's up there. I'll tell you. I mean, the roti itself, nice and flaky. Yeah. Lots of layers, but the inside you have the amazing lobster with, it's like a curry, right? It is. But it's, it's not like a heavy, intense curry, like what you've had before. Mm -hmm. It's a little more milder. Mm-hmm. So pretty mm. much when everything mixes together, because all the split peas has cumin inside of it, all those spices. It's not overpowering. So it's mellow. So you don't feel like, oh my god. It is mellow. <laughs> I mean, obviously, once you eat the whole thing, then you feel like you, you're full, right? Do you know what the word itis means? No, what does itis mean? Itis means, like, literally, when you eat in Trinidad and Tobago, mm -hmm. you get the itis means that you just fall asleep. <laughs> you just want to sleep after that. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. We call it ethnic fatigue. Mm. <laughs> Dude, this is the best. This one is too good. I'm so happy. Like, wow. I did roti shops throughout Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. That's the really great rotis. It's just that here, a lot of people favor. And they mm -hmm. position themselves as being distinct because of the different types of proteins. The lobster, mm -hmm. the shrimp, the goat. Wow, it's really good. Mm. Love, love the lobster. Love it. Whew. Hands down, my favorite dish so far. So you know what happens to you, right? You end up eating out all of everything, especially roti. And then when we go to Maracas, how are you going to eat the bacon shock? I don't know. We'll see. Where there's a will, there's a way, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, I did have double the three in the morning. <laughs> mm. Indian style. So That's how you do it. Your hands have to get dirty. Be one with the food. Mm -hmm. It's all about that whole ethnic vibe. Getting down inside there. Yeah, man. And you know what? The spoons. How many people have touched that spoon? You don't eat roti with like No, I know what I'm just saying, like in general, like how many people have touched the fork, the knife, oh. That's one thing I learned uh, in India, because people are like, why do people use hands so much, especially with rice dishes? You're able to actually integrate the sauces better with your fingers. You mix better. You get uh, to pull pieces of meat together with vegetables, you get a perfect little... Uh, one four zero, so that's 140 TT dollars. It's equivalent to about 23 US for everything. We made it, we made it. After a quick 10 minute drive, we're here at the lookout point and here there's a few vendors selling some sweets. They also have some preserved fruits, right? Most definitely, I mean, you gotta stop here when you're heading to Maracas Beach for a little snack. And uh, the beauty about it, you get the preserves, the pickles, you also get the sweets, the delicacies, little fine arts and crafts also, and of course the experience of just basically speaking to everyone and seeing what they're creating. It's a little rest stop, it's almost like a pit stop before you actually get to the beach itself. So let's Perfect. check out what they have. So here at my stand, you'll get a lot of local stuff. Right? We have stuff that is sweet, stuff that is pepper. We also have something which is very popular that's called chow. It's made with all our local fruits, where we add salt, pepper, Chardonnay, which a lot of people know as cilantro, some garlic. Pepper is optional if you want it hot or you don't want it hot. You can have it anyhow you want it. Okay, so that's with the fruit. Perfect. Your friend here was just asking me what this is. It's something um, traditional to um, East Indians here in Trinidad. Mm -hmm. It's called gulab jamun. It's made out of flour and it's like an American donut, just a little bit sweeter. So I've had this many times in India. Gulab jamun is the number one yes, dessert so and usually hot. This is more with sugar coated on top, right? right? Beautiful. And so there's like almost like fingers. And you spell it a little differently too. Oh. From, from, the, from the Hindi. <laughs> I know that you usually spell it with a U. Like yes, gulab. Yeah, yeah. And what's that, like a cake? Right, this is barfi. It's also East Indian and it's, it's made with milk. 
Perfect, yeah, both of you. And sugar is holding it together. It's seasonal. All our food here in Trinidad is seasonal. So this is called Pomerac. It's in season now. Right? It's like an yes, apple. Plum is apple. But when you bite into it, it's more like a pear. It's like soft inside, not oh, crunchy wow. as an apple. It's wow. really nice. <laughs> Alright, so this is actually sugar cake. It's fresh coconut grated, mixed together with a sugar solution of water and sugar cooked together, compressed together. It has great spices inside the cinnamon, nutmeg, sometimes lychee inside there. This is something that you need probably as a little dessert. Or if you're feeling a bit lethargic, this could definitely get you energized. So let's try this. The strongest packaging ever. Yeah, I do for real, for real. Uh, I've never seen somebody take that long with packaging. <laughs> right, I'm gonna break a little piece right here. Oh, it's dude, it's hard, huh? What do you think? Mm. Mm. It's just good, right? I love it. Coconut. I mean, do you like coconut? It's great it's, coconut. It's just pure, pure unadulterated coconut. It doesn't get more fresh than this. So you get, we have dry coconut in the Caribbean, obviously, we're tropical country. We dry, we grate it. Mm -hmm. So this is like probably like a whole coconut here. It's amazing. Mm. It reminds me of texture of like rice, rice cake, right? Uh, rice cake. Rice cakes, yeah. Mm -hmm. It does, right? Mm -hmm. And before you know it, it's done, you know. Yeah, it's so sweet. Mm. The man of sugar here. And you can see the little spices inside of his cinnamon mm -hmm. and nutmeg all mixed together. I love it. Mm -hmm. This is good stuff. It has like an Indian flair to it. Mm -hmm. That's the spices, that's the cardamom mm -hmm. inside. Mm -hmm. Cardamom. You know what? Let's try the gulab jamun. Now, in India, gulab jamun, what they refer to as gulab jamun, in Trinidad, we refer to it as uh, rush gula. Milk balls that are soaked in uh, sugar syrup. Yeah. In Trinidad and Tobago, we call this gulab jamun. It's intensely crumbly. And pull one of these out. It's super flaky, sugary. Oh my god. It's, it tastes so fresh. Oh, oh wow. It's the ultimate donut right here. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. You did say that. Mm -hmm. Crumbly. Man, these particles. Huge. Like it's blocks. Just, it just crumbles in your mouth and system. That was freaking amazing. What an incredible gulab jamun. Let's go over here and see the view. From over there to that beach over there. That's Morocco's beach. Okay. So it's just a bit of an inlet inside here, so we're going to continue traversing down. And okay. We're going to get to that beach, and that's where you bathe and you have fun. That's where the Baker Shock is. It's amazing. I mean, the weather right now is perfect. You had a good day. You really came at a great time here in Trinidad to be able to enjoy what is supposed to be the dry season. Mm -hmm. I know, because it's clear you could actually feel that sort of slight cool breeze just blowing. Oh. That's the northern trade winds coming in. All right, enough of the view. Let me go shopping. <laughs> Let me see something for my kids. I love this stuff. Oh, this is nice. So you, you made these out of uh, out of coconut, like a shells? Oh, the calabash. This is like this. Come in different sizes. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Calabash bowl. Perfect. Some, some of us use it to bathe. Some of us use it to eat it. Exactly. And then we use it for carving. I mean, I'll tell you, my man. I love this one and this. Oh, my fingers. They pull this out. This is beautiful. Look, guys. Like a mask for your wall and black. Gorgeous. How much are they, these two? What is 175 here? What is this is beautiful. All right, I'm taking these three for my two daughters and my niece. <laughs> so 65 each. He's going to give us a little deal, a little discount. I think it's good, right? Yeah, man, I think so. Beautiful. Yeah, so he has many things, right? So he has bracelets, necklaces. He has these beautiful wallets, but we think it's going to be a little hard for four-year-olds to open. open yeah. yeah. It's good. Unless you're trying to save money, you put the money inside and you can't open it. And, it'll... and that's it? Yeah. <laughs> but they open it easily, they're going to spend all the money. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love the mask. I mean, he's saying that we'll probably see a few more. So yeah. I'll wait. It's my second day. I still have a lot of time. Yeah, you have a, a whole eight days again. So. Perfect. So total price, $1.95 for the three gifts for my niece and my two daughters. I, I appreciate it. So delicious. Incredible. Thank you. I go out your moon, oh, hit the spot. <laughs> All right, let's go for some bacon shark. And after a five minute drive, we're here at Maracas Beach and there's like seven different restaurants selling bacon shark. But we're going to this one, Patsy's, right? See that one, we're gonna really enjoy this bacon shark. I mean, they're the epicenter when it comes to good fried shark and bacon. So let's go check them out. Okay, this is the flower for the bake, which you normally they know it has float. But we call it fry bake, so this is the flour here already prepared. Boil it. So this makes it with flour? Yeah. So it's going to stick. Perfect. Like that. 
Then you roll it. And that's the extra flour. Mm -hmm. So you want to do it with the oil. And then we're going to fry it. Let's do it. Woo! You can feel the heat in here. Yes. A lot of heat. The oil is already hot. So we put the bake. It's scorching in here, huh? Uh-huh. I'm gonna get brown on one side, we flip it to the other side. Okay. So you will get a nice golden brown flavor. Perfect. And now let me show you the shark. Dude, it's hot, huh? Oh, that, that, that's a real deal right there. That's that. Yeah. I should mention it's float because it just rises up to the top and floats when it's ready. Oh, it's amazing. Puffed, great baking yeah. powder inside there, flour, and of course water. Again, it reminds me of a puri, like a beautiful puri. Actually, it is the family of puri. Puri and puri. This is the shark here. Yeah. It's seasoned, sliced. The bowl, everything, and now we flour it. And the oil is already hot, so we put it in the oil now. What type of shark is this? That is this one. This one is hammerhead. This is a hammerhead shark. Hammerhead shark. No way. They caught it right on the ocean out here. Oh my gosh! You know, to be honest with you, I'm not really into eating sharks. It's not my thing, and I've never tried a hammerhead, but I'll try it. You will try it, and you will love it. Yolo, Yolo. <laughs> It's pretty much, exactly. You only live once at this point in time. Yeah, yeah. So this is the sharks in our own water, as you mentioned, ham and yes. And But it's fries up. They season it up with the black pepper, the salt, and our green seasoning. Green seasoning. That was makes it so unique. That green seasoning, it's the DNA of the Caribbean. It's minced garlic, onion, celery, side, shadow, belly. All those great things mixed together, ground it. Cementos. So it's green. That's what you yeah, saw on the shark. It's line. Oh, so it's like a sandwich. I didn't even know how it was. Beautiful. And this is me putting the shark inside of the bake. It's like this is the portion. Oh, it's like stacked, huh? And then we put it in a box and give it to you to put, it on, to put all the toppings on it on the outside. Okay, now that we saw the bacon shark being made, we're going to go to the front and now we have all the condiments. I mean, it's like 20 condiments. Wow, it's a lot of stuff. So at this point in time, we just finished half the journey. We need to put the condiments on top of it. Check these out. A full line of just relishes, vegetables, chutneys, anything of that nature. Pretty much, we're gonna have an adventure now, so let's go and dress this up. So in terms of condiments, we have a lot of stuff. We have coleslaw, lettuce, pineapple, tomatoes, sliced cucumbers, red onions. I mean, what do you want to throw? Just everything. Pretty much at this point in time, let's start with a little bit of everything because when you decorate this, it's really an experience because you get so many different sorts of flavors going on, crunch and texture. Let's just start with the little bit of the slow on top. So we go with lettuce now. Let's go on to pineapple. Fruits always go well with fish. Yeah, and it's nice fresh, right? Let's go with tomatoes. Check this out. We just don't give you cucumbers like that. We season it up with our great green seasoning. Remember what we spoke about what the shark is seasoned with? Purple onions. Cucumbers started with the different types of chutneys and relishes. That was just all vegetables, that right? That was just all vegetables. We're starting to go with <laughs> chutneys and relishes now at this point. It's and dressings at this point. Start with the garlic sauce. Freshly made garlic sauce is blended. As you can see the fragments of the garlic inside here. This is definitely a must. It's a little bit of tartar on top. You want pepper sauce, man? Why not? It's just a touch, right? Why not? Look at, and you can see how beautiful it starts to look already. Then we go with the shadow benny sauce. Always shadow benny. Always shadow benny. Cilantro, cilantro, whatever you want to refer to it as. This is the fresh pulp. No, this is just ordinary tamarind chutney. It's actually the pulpy tamarind. It's fresh tamarind. Because you can see the pulp inside there. Mm -hmm. So as you eat it, you get pieces and fragments of the tamarind and even seeds inside there. There we go. And that's our bacon shark. That's it. How beautiful that is. This is where we travel to Morocco's Beach for the bacon shark. That's you know, it. Funny thing about this, David, I'll tell you. When Andrew Simon came here a couple years ago, he rated this as probably number nine of the best sandwiches he ever had in his life. This is fucking worth something, right? I mean, I'll tell you, for me, my favorite sandwiches are fish sandwiches. I got like two great ones in Miami. I think this is going to be up there. I mean, the bread, the condiments, oh, it's going to be amazing. Bacon shark, bacon shark is going to be amazing. So how do I even get this guy? Just like, like this? The bacon shark right here. Oh my gosh. I'm excited. You know what? The pineapple fell. Nice. Mm hmm. Mmm. Oh, uh, pineapple. Well, I'm ready for this. Mm hmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. The lettuce, tomato, pineapple, refreshing. Mmm. Nice soft bun. Oh, but the shark's amazing. Nice and crispy. Oh, so much meat in here. Oh, I got some spice right now. Super spice. We only put a little bit of spice, right? We only put a small amount inside there, right? 
Mm. Oh my god. This might be my favorite like fish sandwich ever. <laughs> yeah, correct. Oh wow. Mm. Shark is not overcooked, right? It's nice and moist. And oh flaky. man. It's nice. It's meaty though. Yeah. It's lots of meat. I mean, did see you see the portion of the shark that she mm -hmm. gave like four fillets? Mm hmm. Look at this. I mean, it's not for one person, man. <laughs> you know what I love the most about this sandwich, this bacon shark, is the bread. The bread is so fluffy. It reminds me of so many breads in India. The puris, right? I don't even tell you guys about the coleslaw. Oh, it's nice. It's not too much mayo at all. It's just a big mix of salad here. Nice and refreshing. And then we have massive amount of shark here. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. This place doesn't stop. It does not stop. People keep coming, going back to the beach, eat here. Mm hmm. They also have shrimp. So they have shrimp and fries. They have more bacon shark. They have a huge list. They have kingfish. They have okra. What else? They have slices of kingfish. So you can get filet, you can get it in a sandwich, whatever you want, right? I think for the beach, this is the best. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's so good. Wow. All right, I think I'm gonna finish the sandwich and then go and get a a little slushy outside, huh? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Snow cone would definitely hit the spot now. Highly recommend coming here. So Jason, that bacon shark was delicious, but I mean, this view, look at this. And that's why I told you, I said, I mean, you come to the beach, you have a bacon shark, you enjoy the view. This is what Trinity's do pretty much every single day, but especially on the weekend. Mm -hmm. This is what it's at. I mean, it's a full it's family affair. And of course, uh, I could do with something sweet now. Yeah. A snow cone. Snow cone, let's go. Let's go. They actually have alcoholic snow cones here. Yeah, we that's, that's how it is on the beach. On the beach? Yeah, oh. alcoholic snow cones. Back to these guys, huh? Okay, we have pineapple, guava, cherry, and cotton candy. You can mix the flavors individually. You said you would, the milk is free. The milk is free. Yes, and so, see how you want to get Cotton candy? Cherry, guava, pineapple. Oh, so it's two cotton candy and uh, guava? Oh, so like a double. Yeah. It's nice, do it twice. Oh, yeah, do it twice the calories too. Yeah. yeah. So you got again? Pineapple, guava, cherry, cotton candy. Okay, let me try some guava and pineapple. Guava. I'll take no, milk. no, no milk today. I don't want to get up in that sweetness that you're telling me about. Guava always, was always my favorite type of syrup, baby. Oh, guava, yeah. As a child, I know that's big bad in Latin American countries. The guava. Oh man. Puerto Rico. Well, especially like when I went to school in Miami, everything was guava. Fifteen dollars, David, for one of these. So we're looking at uh, approximately two dollars and fifty cents US. Not bad at all. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Nice boy. I have some cotton candy, right? That's the blue. The blue flip is cotton candy. Mm. Also have milk with it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I had to with the milk, right? Oh, this is perfect. So good boy. Oh, this, and then we walk straight onto the beach of the sun. The you don't need the alcohol. But if you want to, right here on the beach, it'll be perfect, right? You got some waves. Woo, windy. People just flock to this beach. Wow. Really, really nice. As mentioned, it's a fishing village also. So you get not only shark, but kingfish, cavalli, all these different types of fish outside here. So beautiful. Oh, just means I hit my bed now. <laughs> I mean, this is filling. Oh my God. That condensed, condensed milk, condensed milk. It's just like diabetes in a cup. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Super sugary. Decadent, look at this, incredible. Really great color also, I mean, mm -hmm. you can tell from the different, uh, he makes his own syrups and uh, you can really see that it, it shines. It shines really well. And that's and what I love about our, the Caribbean snow cones here. I couldn't wait to come down here and bring you down to Shibona. Central is the land of some good indel delicacies. We got doubles here, sahina, pachori, all the different types of pies. You gotta try, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Yo, morning. How you guys doing? How are you? Very good. Doubles, the Green Shed. We are a branch from Davy. We are the mobile branch. We're here in Montreal, Shibonas. I'm Felissa Hassanali. This is Rosanna. Hey, Rosanna. Okay, so we're gonna do some Indian delicacies. Yes, All right, this is great. So the Green Shed. So I heard that you guys refer to the Green Shed because that's where people want to like go, right? So Davy is in South Trinidad, right? And these guys are an institution down there. So pretty much when they blew up. People saying, what about Central? You guys are coming Central? They have a mobile unit, and of course, they kept the name Green Shed. Hasnalis is the proper name for them, nevertheless. So we're here in Shibona, and we're going to try those same treats that we get in the South. Here now. What's making here is alu pie. This is the dough. Make it out into a little, what we call it, layers in Trinidad. Then she is stuffing it with the potato inside. 
Now she's going to press it to fry it. And what are those? This eggplant. Now it's the eggplant she prepared, which is also known as baigan. So it's wrapped eggplant. Yeah. Got it. Baigan. Okay, I thought I was gonna be excited for the aloo ones. These are gonna be better. I mean, these fried eggplants wrapped with that dough, man, looks so good. And they also have spices. Now listen, baigani is what we would normally call it, eggplant or virgin, anything of that nature. What we you refer to it as? It's gonna be brilliant. Beautiful, look at that. Mmm, nice and oily. They're gonna be so good. And what is this one? This is Sakina. It's a dashwin bush roll in a paste. We slice it and then add a little piece of paste in. Wow. And then fry it. Check this out. This See the paste? paste. Mm -hmm. Grounded chickpeas. This is the hot one. You're gonna love that. <laughs> I don't know how you're in this heat all day. All day right here all in this day, fire? All day. I mean, I'm burning my arms right now. I'm losing all the hair. Yeah, this is what you call a double stand. A double stand. Double stand. Okay. <laughs> The sahina and the baigan have to fry a little bit more than the alu pies because it have to make sure that they cook inside to be nice and crunchy. You guys good? Listen, I told you you're going to have a fun time in Trinidad and Trinidad. That's what we're talking about. Wow, that's beautiful. Done. Eggplants ready. Next is the taro. Man, this looks amazing. Oh, yes. This is gonna be nice and crispy, this, crunchy, yeah. delicious. Delicious. And do you add any any spice or yes, anything? We're gonna show you the next <laughs> step in the front. We're gonna show you in the kitchen right. By the way, I love you. I love you already. <laughs> Make a bed for me here. Yes. I'm gonna sleep here. <laughs> yes. They're also famous for their doubles here. They do it a little different. And right now they're gonna fry the bara. The bara is the bread. I mean, it's super thin. You just throw it in, and it's done. Oh, look at that. It's done. Yeah. <laughs> what do you have here? What are all these? This is baigani, mm -hmm. potato pies, sahina, doubles, and kachori. This is what you sell. These are the this items. Sell, yeah. On the bottom, you have the chana, and you have all the different chutneys. So Sources. the chana yeah. is obviously for the doubles, right? Yeah, everything else if you want to. There everything else? like to add chana in the other delicacies. So that's one aloo pie stuffed. Prepared, stuffed. With everything slight pepper. It's amazing. She's making four doubles right now yes, for, four doubles. for paying customers. There we go. Very good, very good. So good, huh? It's a nice. Okay, so we're going to start off with a Sahina. Let me jump out. Whoa, let's do this. Sahina, David, you ready? I'm eating. You're eating? I'm eating. We're all eating. Sahina. I got one. How's that one? It's really good, actually. Oh wow, Candace making an appearance. Yes, I am. <laughs> right, this is my favorite Indian delicacy, mainly because of the leaves, they get so crispy. Mm -hmm. And the chickpeas is just this nice crunchy exterior. Sweet sauce, epic on top. Oh wow. Mm. Wow. With the sweet chutney? That tamarind, right? Yeah. Mm. Oh, holy smokes. Mm hmm. Really? So that's all the dashing bush leaves. So beautiful leaves, huh? Beautiful leaves, all mm. rolled um, diligently and then fried up crispy with that chickpea batter on top. It's amazing. It's mm. delicious, right? I, eat, I could eat this every single day. Dude, I would eat this every day. Mm. Nice, soft chickpeas. Oh man. The leaf, and it's not lightly fried, yeah. nice and crispy. Mm -hmm. Man, that tamarind. The tamarind you're, chutney. You're having chana on yours, right? Mm -hmm. I'm a purist, so I just have it as is. Of course, you can get very chutneys, pepper sauce on this, chana with nut nut. I'm glad you had it like that. Wow, That's a favorite. I'm in love with this one. It has every single thing I want, you know? It's filling, crispy. it's crispy, it's hot. I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. You can't, can't really go wrong for like $5. It's brilliant. Amazing. $5 Trinidad. Five which is like about 98 cents. US. Wow. But eggplant, fried, Crunchy, nice, tasty. Baigani. So, the most delicious eggplant I'm gonna have in my life, right? Yes. <laughs> Incredible. I'm just gonna like dive in here. Come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, your sweet tamarind. Mm. This is liquid gold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh my god. And it's like crunchy. You have the beautiful fresh eggplant there. Mmm. 
A lot of spices. Mm -hmm. Some mango. What are you? Yeah, more like a savory pickled mango, but mm -hmm. on the sweet side, so it's a combination of sweet and savory. Yeah. Epic. Go in. Go here. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I love these pies. <laughs> Everything here is so good. I'm going to come back to Trinidad, drive straight down here. <laughs> Doesn't matter the day. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I don't know about you, but this might be the winner for me. Yes. Yeah, uh, I don't know. The last one was so good. I think after this, we'll try Couture. We'll split it, right? Everything is like 110% exceptional. Mm -hmm. It's like eat, eat, eat. Eat, eat, eat. Mmm, mm -hmm. love the breading. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm. And the spices. Mmm. It makes a true taste of Trinidad right here, right? And it really feels like India at the same time. And it's so crisp. Mm -hmm. Yet it's hot and nice, so it's like... Yeah, come here. Eat standing right here. It's great comfort food. It's like comfort food no matter, like any time of the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not just breakfast. This is lunch, oh. dinner. This is midnight food. Doesn't matter. Kachori? Ready? Ready. More sweet, huh? I mean, that sweetness. <laughs> Nothing like it. Thank you so much. Here we have our beautiful kachori. Look at this, guys. So they added two different chutneys. They added the chickpeas, right? The chana. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. This is going to be so good. Oh, it's like dense. Yes, it is. It reminds me of like a thick cake. I was just thinking that, like a really thick one cake. Yeah, exactly, like exactly. One cake? Let's do it. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. It just crumbles. Mm. The texture is so great. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. So this is almost like a falafel, a giant one, right? Mm-hmm. All made from chickpea. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh man, the sweetness. I mean, I think for me, that tamarind sweetness is what makes every dish here, you know? Just changes all the flavor profiles. I think it's exceptional for somebody who's vegan. Mm -hmm. It's a vegan, it's mm -hmm. a really vegan delight. I mean, everything here is vegetarian, vegetarian right? Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Amazing. Whoa. You just have to get in there. Just get I know, let's get in there. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's too good. I'm the like. The best part of this is the way that you eat it. Yeah, the way I eat it, right? I mean, the way you have to eat it is like this, you know, hands. That's it. Wow. It's good when you do this. Cheers, mm. David. Cheers. It's so good. This is my go to. Yeah? For doubles, it's really that. This is my go to. I take no shame. I think over, there's over doubles, a thousand doubles vendors in Trinidad, but. Personally, we said doubles. You know, I do that to yours. <laughs> we haven't even tried the doubles yet. <laughs> so crispy that bar is. Just like an omelet, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna go in like this. Just like that. Wow. So good. Nice little sauce on the tamarind inside there. This works brilliantly with the chickpeas, the chana that is. I'm trying to try the cucumbers. And of course, that nice, thin, crispy bar just makes it well. Look at how beautiful that is. Love it, the chutneys, the chana. Could just literally fold this like this, right? Like that. So you want to pick up that barra again? You're getting double zoology, a lesson in double zoology here in Trinidad and Tobago. Dude, mine's falling apart though. Oh, it's it's that's so okay. Th that's okay. The messier, the better. The messier, the better. It's going to. That's it. That's it. Oh my God. It's just like right? it slowed down so easily. Mm. Doubles is not a pristine thing. It's a messy thing. It's a messy thing. Wow. But when you're eating with your hands, that's where you get the true flavor residing. Look at that. Look at you, boy. You are Trini boy now. Mm. Mm. <laughs> that bar is just epic. It just sucks up all that good chana. Yeah, it's so good. Mmm. So soft. Mmm. So it's a mix, right? Not too spicy, but that tamarind, that sweetness, it just, just comes makes out. The difference. It's mm -hmm. beautiful. Huge difference, right? And that's obviously homemade. All this is homemade. All, all homemade. Wow, pick it up like that. A nice curry chickpeas. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, right? That's chickpeas doubles. and everything. That's doubles. Mm -hmm. Look at it. Guys, look at his mouth. He's truly enjoying himself right now. What is it? You're just going in on the paper licking the I had paper to, paper I had right? to. It's so good. <laughs> I would have had a full one, but I have a long day of food today. <laughs> you need to try these. This is amazing, guys. Doubles in Trinidad. Yeah. And don't hold back. Look at your fingers. It's okay. Yeah. A messy process. Oh man, I feel good. 
Okay, let's finish this. Let's friends, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for the experience. I mean, this is like too much. We're, yeah, along the time you got visiting our van, right? You don't need to go to the beach to get this time. No, you, you don't. <laughs> it's like a little sauna also. Yes. At the same time, right? See how he's red? <laughs> I mean, I'm a white boy. Look how red I get. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Nice Appreciate it. You. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I'm coming back for sure. Yeah. Guys, they open at 6 in the morning. Get here at 6 a.m. Well, now we're going for some Venezuelan food. Cachapas, arepas, tequeños. Let's go. Woo! So good, huh? I want a flea boy. <laughs> <laughs> Epic food. Epic food. Hasanali's. Hasanali's green shed. So good. Oh, I'm gonna remember that one. Hey, hermano. Baby, ¿qué pasa, mano? Hermano, ¿cómo estás? Bienvenido. Todo bien. Vamos, vamos para la cocina, mano. Let's go. And this is Andres, the owner. Awesome, love this spot. So it's a nice dining hall. Really cozy. Hey, welcome, team. Welcome, welcome, baby. Come, come and see. We have some Venezuelan food for you today. So we are going to do some arepas. Hermano, ¿cómo estás? Bien, bien. Everybody's Venezuelan, bueno, yeah. una mezcla, no? Yeah, we are all from Venezuela. Okay. Different um, places. Okay. Different places. Yeah. So where are you from? I am from Apure. Apure. Never been to Apure. Of course. Guirias. Guirias. Nice beach. Okay. okay, perfect. So what are we doing now? What are we going to do? Okay, we are going to do some arepas right now. We're going to do a reina pepiada, the traditional arepa from Venezuela. So let's do it. So we're going to cut it open? Yeah, so... So this is arepa. This is open. a corn sandwich, basically. Yeah. So we put a certain ingredients, so tomatoes, minced chicken, um, some fresh uh, chalubeni, okay. uh, avocado. We oh. mix it. Nice. Uh, that is simple to go inside the arepa. Re Reina Pepiada is like the number one arepa in Venezuela, but here they add some chalubeni, so that's like the, the trend that twist, right? Yeah. It's going to be good. I can't wait. And there we have it, the arepa. La Reina Pepiada. So we go make the next one with some tuna. Yes, tuna, tomatoes, some hot avocado too. So we're doing another arepa yeah. with, with tuna. So completely different taste, perfect. I mean, obviously they're gonna throw some, some cheese in there. They have to, right? Hold on, you have, you don't eat one arepa. Oh Hold man, on. it's been, huh? nah, like two months. I'm, yeah. In Miami we have Torazuela. The tuna? So a tuna in Spanish? You can, you can see the avocado, the tomato, so you can feel it when you eat it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Is that uh, cheese guayanes? No, like white cheese? That, that white the, cheese. The, the hot cheese, the normal one. Can you wrap it on? Just wrap it. Yeah. Beautiful. We have two kind of repa, reina pepiada and the tuna one. You guys don't know what a cachapa is. That is a corn pancake. The best thing on planet Earth. This is my ultimate Venezuelan dish. I love it. With cheese in the middle, they fold it. But you said that they're going to add something different to it. Make it a little more unique, right? You can smell it. It's so good. Yeah. Oh, that aroma. Corn, nice crispy corn. This is the one thing I'll say you have to have in your lifetime at least once. Venezuela, Miami, or Trinidad. Everywhere else, it's not that good. Yeah, so we get, not in New York. We get a chance for this to maybe five, six minutes to cook. And that's it. One side. And, and then you flip it. Oh, you see the. Wow, beautiful. Here. Golden yeah. brown, man. Uh -huh. Amazing. Look at that. Beautiful. You can feel it. It's ready, we can touch a little bit. If you feel a hot, little hot, it's ready. But it's ready. If you continue soft, soft, about get a little time more to... Look at that. That's a perfect cachapa. All right, so we're gonna throw some butter in there. So next up, the white cheese. White cheese, yeah. Beautiful, nothing like that white cheese. Sí, poner por todos lados. Lléname de queso blanco. Look at that amount of cheese, guys. It's like a yeah. mountain of cheese. Now we just, oh yeah, perfect. Look at that. That is a true cachapa. Yeah. So we come in here. This is the cachapa, so. Dude, too much butter, man. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, we have the tequeños. These are little cheese fingers. So if you guys don't know, my dad was born in Venezuela. Well, both my parents were born in Venezuela. My father always tells me when he would go to like, you know, weddings, the yeah. weddings, they come yeah, out yeah. straight out of the kitchen. He would sit there right outside of the kitchen and wait for them. It's like, da, 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 da. yeah, that's true, true. It's so good, man. Yeah. They're so delicious. And this with some wasacaca, that little sauce, amazing. The cheese just oozes out. Oh, I can't wait to show you. This is the best. Literally two minutes, they're done. How good these are. And they're straight out of the fryer. Oh, man, they're going to be so good. All right, guys, here we go. Let's do this. Tequeños. Yeah, let's do it. 
<laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's open that. Let's open it for sure. Tenedor, okay. Si, tenedor, por favor. Si, cubiertos, tenedor, so forks, knives for sure for this. I mean, the easiest thing here would be the tequeños. So we can literally just get the guasacaca. It's, it, it, it's creamier. It's creamier for sure, dude. This is the best. I've had this in Miami numerous times. Yes. Oh, look the, at this. Oh. It just goes out, right? This one we talk. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, dude, this is so good. Try this. So let's just dive in. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is good, boy. Mm hmm. I like the pungency in this. It has like mm -hmm. a cilantro and stuff inside it. Yeah, it hits you a little bit, right? Really nice. A little different from um, just regular guacamole. Mmm. Love the batter. The batter is light. It's nice and light. It's mm -hmm. crispy. Oh, jeez, it's just soft on the inside. Exactly. And it's little, like, soft. So it's crispy on the outside, soft in the middle, and then you have that oozing cheese that it comes pulls. out. It's not oily. It, it has pulls. texture. Exactly. It's just nice. It's like mozzarella. Like mozzarella do the same thing, right? Yeah, pretty much. Wasakaka. 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 You're doing it again. Mm -hmm. Go for number two. Beautiful. Um, Mm. Amazing. Oh, mm. That is mm, that cheese. I need another one. Mm -hmm. Good restaurants. It's like an excellent appetizer. Mm -hmm. Good restaurants, they make it when you order it. They don't just have it sitting there. No. Mm. It beats the Indian dosa for me. It is the corn pancake. Like la chapa. This is a white corn or yellow corn? Yellow corn. I think pretty much this has always been a, a staple, especially in Venezuelan culture, right? Oh man, look Maybe at that. Fresh corn, right? Fresh corn. Look at that cheese. Beautiful oh, cheese. Look at that, guys. Oh, Ooh. it's so good. Well, let's do it, man. So what I like about it, they, they also threw the, the avocado on top. You yeah. can always throw more things on top, more condiments, but I think just like this is perfect. And obviously uh, avocado is a big piece of Venezuela. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the stuff right there. You know, it's sweet. It has it's, a nice it's, sweetness in it. It's sweet. That's what's so good about it, right? Oh my God. Mm hmm And it's like, it's like almost like particles of corn, like, you know, grated yeah. in a way. It's, I guess it's grounded or blended, mm -hmm. but you still got the grounds inside mm -hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Mm. The cheese, so fresh, that cheese. And it has nothing else, right? So it's, it's savory, but at the same time, it's a little sweet. But the corn is naturally sweet, right? Mm -hmm. It's like this fresh corn that you grind. You want to get that going on. It's a delicious bite here. Oh, yeah. Mm. You can't stop eating yourself. Wow! Oh man, that fresh cheese, nice. It's like golden brown, and it's not too crispy. Mm. Oh wow, so soft. It's not dry. It's it's more. It's just like moist. How's that like little char on the outside? That brown. Look at that. Right in Miami, there's two favorites of mine: doggies and uh, Budare Bistro. Right there on Coral Way, next to Brickle, go there. All right, because we need to take a little <laughs> break and a palate cleanser. We're having some Maltin. I've so this is... I've never had this before. It's like a Manta drink, right? It's malt. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Deep, robust flavor, but mm -hmm. sweet on it. It's, sweet. It's molasses, right? It's molasses, yeah. It's a little sugary, right? Maybe nice. 100% cane sugar. Cane sugar, there you That's, go. There you go. That's <laughs> there the you go. Come on. <laughs> What is arepa? Very easy, corn burger. That is the definition of it. Simple as it. Reina pepiada, so the queen of pepiada, I don't know, pepper? But it's really, it's just a shredded chicken with mayonnaise, avocado. That's for you? I guess it's probably peppercorn crusted beef that is the queen of it. And then they pull it. That's yeah. The pepiana, but that's but for peppercorn. So you're doing la reina pepiada, and I'm doing the tuna one. Huge. That's the same cheese I was in the cachapa, right? Same cheese, ready. Go. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. it's, it, 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 it's a Venezuelan burger. Mm-hmm. So many flavors. Nice cheese. Very refreshing. This is a... Uh, so it's nice uh, tuna here, man. Very I have, nice. I have the chicken. It's mm -hmm. shredded. Mm -hmm. And it's like poached and then pulled into shreds. Exactly. And this is probably like canned tuna, right? Mixed up with um, some tomato. You have a bunch of sauces in here. And the avocado. And the avocado. Mm -hmm. I'm getting messy. Mm -hmm. mm. That's good. So that's the most traditional one, right? That's the one everybody gets. But when you go to Venezuela, you can just say, load it up with cheese, ham, just like, you know, cold cuts, whatever you want. Pretty much bacon would be nice in here. Oh, man. Maybe you put an egg inside it. Man, you can make an egg sandwich. A, 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 arepa de, de desayuno. <laughs> right? You can eat this any time of the day, pretty much, right? 
Let me put breakfast, mm. lunch, dinner. In Miami, two in the morning, we're at the club. Eat this. Mm. So, so you up, right? No, do it. I love the corn. I'd rather have the corn over a bun, personally. So that's my Venezuelan talking. I've had this in Miami already. Mm -hmm. With just simple queso mache going inside. Mm -hmm. Toast it. Not complicated. Yeah. It tastes so damn good. And then, you know, the Colombian version is a little different. Colombian, they don't do it, they don't stuff it. They literally put cheese and then they put it on the grill. So it's just like melted cheese inside. That's it. Very wow. simple. It's really good, boy. Oh, man. Get some good food here. Mm -hmm. You guys are doing your hand from Venezuela in Trinidad, right? Man, traditional Venezuelan food here in Trinidad. Mm -hmm. And the good thing is, we can take it to go. Mm -hmm. So you have the beautiful plantain that's double fried. So it was fried, then it was mashed or like flattened, then it was fried again. Then they added avocado, they added, oh man, so and many egg, different things. I'm seeing egg in there, I'm seeing bacon, I'm seeing ham, mm -hmm. beef. Shredded beef. Uh, the different sauces, the wakaka, the wasakaka, wasakaka, wasakaka the, the cheese inside there. Uh -huh. It's a heart attack. It's a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> basically, basically, right? So we're gonna cover it. You're supposed to grab it, but we're gonna cut it. Yeah, that's gonna be. No, you, you can't. Anyone who could actually grab that. Dude, I mean, you can just go like this and just get on the sides. I mean, it's it's a little too crazy if you wanted like try to really grab it. I mean, people do that, you know. It's fine. It's like here, you told me there's people who do like, instead of doubles, they do like triples and quads, right? It's there like, you go. Now there's our bacon. Yeah, yeah, bacon. Just grab a mix, right? Just mix up all the flavors. Mmm, all that sauce. I guess it's like the, the bacon so shock we have, right? Everything just comes together. Everything comes together. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. This is so good. Four different sauces in there. Oh my god. Garlic, wasakaka, ketchup. Mmm. This is it, boy. Mm hmm. Oh, I love the shredded beef. Mmm, mm, so tasty. It's not dry. Not dry at all. Wow. Damn. So I want to eat more, so. Mm hmm. This is good. Plantains are still crispy. Mm hmm. Oh, super fresh, too. You can see them. I mean, I saw the whole process being made. Wow, with the lettuce. So nice they, crunch. They fry it on the spot when the, when the order comes in, right? Mmm. Mm hmm. Look at the bacon. You're not, damn, mm. you're not stingy with the bacon. Look at that. Wow. I'm starting to hit walls here, man. So good. Some more mata. So my man, I am done. No, oh, you always say you're done, you're not, right? You're done? You're not supposed to be done. You're supposed to be able to eat forever and ever. <laughs> I do eat forever and ever. We're gonna eat more food in half an hour, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do. Listen, pork, Ben's Juan Kep is where it's at. Crispy pork on the agenda, good black pudding. We're in Cuba, just walking around the boat right now. We're gonna see what she's about and then we're gonna hand out to Dave in a little while for those sweets. So let's go, Dave. And then over here is the spot, right? So Quen Kev's Pork Shed. There's also a bunch of like mini food trucks, right? Correct, this is like a little strip here in Cuba as you enter around, around the roundabout. You get pies, you get pastries, all these different aspects in terms of literally anything that you wanna eat at this point in time. All right, and here they also make like foot long pies right here. A my pie place fried bake, amazing. All right, so Quen Kev's Pork Shed. Let's go into the back. Let's see her fry up some pork. All right, all right, hello. <laughs> you caught me by surprise. Yes, I did. How are you doing? Hi. You good? Yeah, yeah. I'm David, a pleasure. Nice to meet you, I am Ben. Nice to meet you too. Oh, all right, let's go inside. What are you frying up right there? This one is gyro pork. Gyro pork? Gyro, which is cumin. Yeah. Look at that nice sizzle. Mm -hmm, the bubbles. Can I have some water? I wanted to tell you, so the pork is actually seasoned and roasted in the Chinese barrel roasters. Oh wow. So we do that and we roast that for about three hours. And then when we get here, we're going to fry it. So I'm waiting for the oil to get hot and then we'll throw it and you'll see it. Amazing. And bubbles, it's really good. So this is the oil that's going to fry? oil. Oh yeah, you can see it's getting hot. Ooh. I'll tell you, the aroma coming out of this pork right now is insane. Cumin, see some black pepper in there. That's good. Culantro, not cilantro, it's culantro, cools you down. <laughs> so good. I should get away from me, it might pop in my face. David, you good? I'm there following you, I'm always good. What's your favorite, the pork or the, the other pork? Yes, that's what I would say, yes. Ask me anything, I'll just say yes. <laughs>
So what are you going to do with, the, with this uh, blood sausage? You're going to mix it with stuff? Or? So yeah, we're going to fry it up and then walk. It's going to give it a crust on the outside. It's going to be dark. The texture is going to change a little bit. We're going to add some onions, some cilantro, some pimento, and some hot peppers. I mean, is that ready now? Can I take a bite now? You can. It's cold, though. I can warm it for you. Oh, okay. I love blood sausage. In South America, Argentina, it's morcilla. If you go to Ireland, it is black pudding. Same thing, right? Yep. Sometimes a lot of rice. This one looks like it doesn't have that much rice. No rice. In Trinidad, we don't use rice. Other countries, they do. This one, our filler, is going to be bread. So there's bread in here. So it's breading. Just, just, just bread. Basically, pork, blood, and bread. And lots of seasonings. My friend, you're back. I ran away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna try the black pudding. Oh you my god, it is it's hot. hot. Yeah, it is super hot. You want to try a fork? Nah, man, I do it with hands. Yeah, man. Hands always. Cheers. Taste texture. Mm -hmm. When you taste it, you'll taste the little added spices. Exactly. The seasonings. The seasonings tend to be especially like parsley and other different things. Mm -hmm. You know, and they're chunky. So you get that really popping flavors mm -hmm. in your your pudding. So you see, it is of course in the um, intestines, right? Yes, wrapped so in pig intestines, yes. is, uh, there's bread inside and blood. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It is a little juicy. Wow. Mm -hmm. Never had a blood sauce like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice and dense, no rice. Mmm, the bread. Mm -hmm. The jita. Mm -hmm. What else is in here? Mmm, yeah. yeah, well, there's garlic. There's garlic. I feel a little juice. spice, you know, yeah. a tiny and bit. Some hot Mm -hmm. some hot the other one. And you said to put some of this on, right? Yeah. We have to, right? Oh, of course. Let me, let me. You gonna do it for me? Poquito. <laughs> Vamos a comer demasiado aquí. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Not a flavor. Yeah. Oh, this is spicy, but. Yeah. Oh, it's subtle. So, what we're gonna do next, which is something our customers ask for a lot, we're gonna fry it up in your wok. Fry in the wok? Yes. Oh, gosh, it's gonna be the best. Like the ultimate blood sausage dish. Wow. So the oil's ready? The oil is very hot, so you may need to stand back for a minute because it's going to bubble up. Wow. Look at that piece of pork. We have to stand back because it literally is popping in there. Like from here, I feel oil. Be very careful. Wow. How many pieces are we putting in there? Just three. A little bit of oil in the wok. And then we're just gonna go straight in with the black pudding. So black pudding in Trinidad is a colonial hand-me-down. Uh, remember, we were once ruled by the British and we gained independence from. So they have a history of black pudding or blood sausage, like many other countries in the world, especially in Europe. And in Trinidad, we give it our own local twist. So that's why there's a lot of hot pepper and garlic and charabani that we also call culantro. And that's why the flavor profile of our blood sausage is a little different. So here you can see that the sides of it start getting a little crust. Mm-hmm, nice crust. Some of them kind of start to trim off. Yeah, they're like purple. Yeah. So now we're gonna go in with some extra seasoning. This is charabani, onions, pimento, and a little bit of hot pepper. It's almost like a blood sausage stir fry. Yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh, look at that, it's like chicharron to the max. Now that's crispy. That's like the ultimate crisp. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, in Miami we have a lot of chicharron, so like yeah. pork rinds, mm -hmm. same thing, you know? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we also have Anthony here. Anthony will do like that so we don't touch too much. Because <laughs> we're using hands here. So Anthony Scully orders this every day. Every other day. Every other day. Yeah, yeah. Split it in two every day. And yeah. your name's Anthony Scully. Yeah. I'm Perfect. Ready. I got it right. Yeah. Awesome. You ready? All right, you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready to dive in here. So I'll grab one with pepper. This is going to be really? the best. Oh, you know. oh like a Love blood yeah. sausage oh. stir fry. Right. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. I know I made it, but... Wow. <laughs> Every time. Right? It's like the first time. Mm. So soft. Nice. Love the breading with the crispiness, the onions. Mm -hmm. 
The spice is perfect. It's not too hot. No. I thought it was gonna be hotter. No. Maybe because it hit me, you know, when it when it's in the pan, hot. the wok, especially. Wow, it's amazing. God, it's too much. <laughs> <laughs> The only thing is, this is not great for us, you know. <laughs> mm. Wow. I love it. Love it. I think this is one of my favorite blood sausages ever. Awesome. Ever. Because I don't love rice, you know. Mm. I like certain rice dishes, mm -hmm. but like the blood sausage with rice, not my favorite. I like where it's less, and this one has yeah. none. So. And it's smooth. Smooth, yeah, yeah. Easy. It's it's literally just like a a bloody bread. <laughs> All right, so pork and dadas. We cut some beef and cheese empanadas. The beautiful thing about it is that she's actually grinding her own pork and seasoning it up really nicely. And look at the beautiful white pasta here. So I'm going to be frying one. How gorgeous this looks. Will it jump, please? Fail! <laughs> Jason Peru. Take up. Who knew? <laughs> Alright, so she's going to just lower that, right? So, I need that up very nicely. This is like a Venezuelan style empanada, the size, right? It almost looks like a pastel in Brazil. Yes. You know, very big. And that's the beautiful, beautiful thing about the influence. You know, she says she's working with her now and she introduced an idea and a concept. And obviously, you know, that's brilliant. When you got staff working with you, they give you all these creative... Uh, exactly. You know, and that's the difference. Vibes. That's the influence, right? So you exactly. have everybody mixing here now. And we've seen that before, pretty much. Like here in Trinidad and Tobago, so many cultures collide and merge together. Mm -hmm. And we always get new ideas and concepts coming out. It's amazing. You ready? Yeah. Look at that. That's beauty, huh? Mm hmm It's beautiful. Look at that golden brown, goldish color. Oh, look at that. Beautiful crispy pork. Super deep fried. Super. Super. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so what is Jira? So Jira pork basically is a nice cut of pork shoulder predominantly used and seasoned up with black pepper, salt, Jira. Jira, cumin. Cumin. You know, people just think here in Transbago, cumin is just for co cooking Indian food, but use it a lot of Mexican cuisine, Texan cuisine, as you text Mexican exactly. cuisine. Um, it's such a beautiful spice. It's robust. It's strong. Mm -hmm. And look That's at that. Beautiful. It's a beautiful color, right? So we have, you know, pieces of pork, you know, the actual meat, and then we also have some of the fat, right? The fat is so fat important. Cubes. Yeah, we need to have the fat. I'm going to go for this piece. Okay. Look at that. Cheers. Nice. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Nice. Mmm. Nice and tender. Mmm. A lot of spices here, huh? Right? It's not dry at all. Mm-mm. Get a piece of fat. Mmm. Mmm. You know, it's subtly flavored, it's mm -hmm. not robust, mm -hmm. and that's the key. Obviously, we use a lot of fresh spices, black pepper, salt, shallow, and inside it to season it up. But it's not overly spiced. It's not overly spiced. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's work as a side dish. You can put this in a sandwich and eat it. Oh, it's amazing. Mm, the fat, super nice. Here in Trinidad and Tobago, there's a word called cutters. C-U-T-T-E-R-Z. Okay. This means you sit down, little snacks. You sit down by the bar, and you just eat a bowl of this. A bowl of this? With a beer. Oh man, this little beer? Yeah, you see it cut in good. Mmm, I love it, it's tiny cubes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not like huge, right? It's just like little snippets for you just to chomp, chomp on. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do some wontons, some pork wontons. Fry. Wow, they're so crispy so quick. Look at that, guys. They literally crisped up in like 20 seconds. It's gonna be amazing. That's it? Yeah. It's literally that fast, huh? But we're gonna toss it up in the wok. Oh, perfect. Okay. With some spice, I'm guessing. Yes. <laughs> so, what are you adding there? Loganma, grandmother sauce. She just added some sesame oil, make it a little more moist. Wow, look at that beautiful pork wontons. Grandma? Grandmother's sauce. Grandmother's sauce. Yeah, I don't feel like it needs sauce. No, no, at all, at all. Oh, it's nice and crispy. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Mm hmm. Like, this is like the best one that I've ever had. Man, the pork inside, but the outside, all that flavor. Mm hmm. That grandmother's sauce, really nice. So it's like a soy, I don't even know, like a soy dense sauce. It's Chinese brown beans. Chinese brown beans, okay. Wow. 
from chili. Mm hmm. You really don't need a sauce for this. It's no. so good. No, the sauce is already there. Mm hmm. Mm. My God, I'm coming back for this. <laughs> I know I said I was going to have one. <laughs> You're going to say one. The crispiness, nice dense pork inside. Mmm, so much pork too. It's not a small wonton at all. Mmm. Mmm. Yo, the pork is not dry at all. No, no, at all. It's like super moist inside here. It's like shining. Mm. It's so fresh and vibrant. It's not like old at all. It tastes so fresh. Just like the fat content inside here, so obviously it's not dry. It's a nice portion too. 10 out of 10, bro. That's good. Okay, so we're gonna eat it by itself, right? Just grab a piece. The most purest form, right? Yeah. I don't know about you, but I wanna get a piece of the crackling first. Crackling like this, so please. Let's yeah, right Ooh, there. Look at that. Boom. Cheers. Listen to this. Mmm. Oh, wasn't that just worth your trip? Mmm. Oh, God. Mmm. So oh good, boy. The cracking, the fat. It's just, oh, look at this. And so here you have all layers, right? You have the skin. You have the fat and you have the meat. With the rib. Mm. 10 out of 10, brother. Listen, mm -hmm. we actually make crispy pork sandwiches here in Trinidad with hops bread. Mm -hmm. I'll show you the bun. You put that inside of it, stack it, and you eat it. Oh my gosh. Dude. Simply brilliant. I love the different textures here, right? So good, nice and balanced. Crispiness is just out of the, this world, you know? Like exactly. here. A good pork roast is all about the crackling. You can develop that crackling, then you want it. Right there. Look at that, people. So, what do we have here? So, guys, what we have here is what you call the Trini Hops bread. Okay. It's our all purpose bun. Pretty much anything you eat this with it. Pudding, even pudding. Okay. Right? So, what you do is you take this and you put a few crackles inside here of the pork, pieces of meat, just like that. <laughs> you stack it. And this here is a meal by itself. Pull this, it over. That bun. And take a bite out of it. Try that. Okay, I guess I'll dive in. Everything. Nice bun. Super fluffy. Generous bite. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Doesn't need sauce at all. Mm-hmm. Good, right? Mmm. This is amazing. It's like a pork flyer. And of course, sometimes sauces are adding on this, like a shallow sauce, a garlic sauce. Mm -hmm. Pretty much it's good on its own. And when the hops bread is fresh like that, and the pork is wow. just fried. Mm -hmm. You don't need that much in that. You don't need that much. And the, the crackling right here, this part? Crackling is love. That's where it's at. That's where the flavor resides. Mm -hmm. Pork has so much fat flavor on its own that pretty much it doesn't need that much seasoning when it's cooked this way. You're a pork guy, right? So I love pork. Margarita Jenner's pork. This is too good. I'm going to have to have a little more. Just the mix, right? The fat, the meat. And Can the crack. Imagine? I love that you're full though. <laughs> you, you, think, you think he's full? There's <laughs> always room for more. <laughs> no, I'm full, I'm full. <laughs> Make sure so many flavors from the natural oils, mm -hmm. the char of the pork skin. Mm -hmm. It's really a total package. package. So, so this is the pork leg. Yeah. This is no fat. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't, the belly is good, but this is actually nicer. Mm -hmm, that's With the crackling. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's good. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, it was saying it's like Let me, let me, make, let, let me make sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you hear it? So much more flavor, this one. Mm -hmm. The leg wins over the pork belly. <gasps> I'm sad to say the same thing, but uh, I was not. You tell me, tell me. You can join our church. <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we got our first acolytes. There we go. Come on. Father, you... Father David, Father Jason. I thought I was a boy. You are the gun. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at this. Nice. It's like a little mezzaluna, right? Mm hmm. It has a little bit of air pockets throughout, right? Now, let's see what's going on in there. Ooh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's where the oh, love yeah. is. Oh, look at it. You could actually see how crispy the, oh. the corn outside is. But this is how it is in Venezuela. This is a type of empanadas you get. It's a little different from the, it's the Cuban it's ones. Not, it's not heavy at all, right? No, no, and it's light. It's, you know, it's not like filled to the rim. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's mm. great. Mmm, the corn, man. Any time of the day. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Love the pork. It's like minced pork. I can mm -hmm. see myself in like a brown paper bag, driving, long trip. Mm -hmm. Two of these inside. Mm-hmm. I'm good to go. Mm. Again. 
So again, as I said earlier, this reminds me more of a pastel. It's lightly, like in terms of layers, super light layer, right? Super thin. It's, it's, there's a lot of minced pork, but it's not like completely filled. And it, it, good spices. It's, it's aerated, so, mm -hmm. you know, you're getting that nice texture when you bite inside, it's not overwhelming. Exactly. Wow. I like these. The corn still comes through, you know, you get the corn, the richness of the corn inside. Mm -hmm. Love it. So good, brother. Well, my friend, thank you so much. Absolutely. You are the best. You're the best. So, will you say the pork queen or queen of pork? Queen of pork. <laughs> thank you so much. Right, Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. All right, chef, where are we going? All right. We're going to Debi. That's in South Trinidad right now. Just going to try some of those Indian delicacies. The jalebi, the kurma, the barfi. Let's do it. All right, David. Let's rock and roll. Let's go. So, this is the Debi food strip. It's a busy, busy area, pretty much. A lot of Indian delicacies on this side of fried items. Pretty much you pick up here snacks on the way to work back throughout the course of the day. So economical in price, as you can see. A lot of great food this year, and of course, delicious food. Let's go check it out. All right, awesome. So where are we going? Right over here? We're actually going down to the end of the strip. End of the strip? The Indian streets. Okay. So um, actually, we're just right ahead. Nice, and so basically a lot of street food here. A lot of fried items, and this is the Green Shed again. Hey, how you doing? It's all right? Yeah, we had these guys earlier on in the mobile unit. And this is it. Lots of delicious Indian sweets. Oh man, too many. <laughs> Love the music. <laughs> Blasty music. All right, uh, let's so, do it. That's the JLB. Look at this, guys. It's beautiful. This is like the biggest jalebi I've ever seen in my life. Because so this is. Uh, so dough that has been fried in a swirling shape, right? Like a, look at that. And then they drop it into sugar syrup. This is as big as your head, right? The guys, wow. what is this? This is nuts. Just Take a chunk, it. right? Just break it, brother. Oh yeah, how sticky it is. Yeah, that's the that sugar syrup. Stuff. Oh my oh gosh, my <laughs> this is the biggest one ever. Cheers. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, it's amazing. Mm. So I've just absorbed inside of it. Mm -hmm. Nice and sweet. Sticky, mm. see? A little bit. Look at that. Mm -hmm. The sugar syrup? Oh my god. Obviously very decadent. This is one of the main things you have to try in India. First day I went to India. Yeah. I had this in Chani Chok. In Delhi. Crazy chaos. The guy's frying it right there on the street. As fresh as that, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Oh, I'll have more of it. Look how massive. It's, it's truly addictive, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. I love this. It's actually one of my favorite Indian sweet snacks. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like sweet, it's crunchy. You can get carried away because before you know it, you eat the whole thing. I don't want to eat the whole thing. <laughs> we still have a lot of food to go. Let's try the next one. Look how beautiful it is though. The color. Look at that. Let's do it. Delicious. What do you think? <laughs> this is the ultimate one. It's like a... What's registering in the brain? The molasses. Mmm, nice and sweet. Coconut. Like slight little bitterness inside mm -hmm. here. Yeah. A little bitterness. Yeah. But it does balance together with the sweetness. Mm -hmm. And then you got the extreme sort of sugariness from the coconut. Whoa. That's like the best coconut Bob had okay. in my life. Yeah. Really? Straight up. Yeah, because usually it's like pure coconut, just like, you know, mashed together. Remember when we had sugar cake the other day, which was just intensely sweet? Mm -hmm. The molasses content inside of this balances out really well. That's so good. That was awesome. Mm. What do we have next? We have too many things, guys. <laughs> Use a back feet. Mm. Yeah, super dense. Mm. Amazing, right? And some of the like, compact nuts. You got also got spices inside there, a little bit of cinnamon, some nutmeg. Mm -hmm. Nutmeg, there you go. It's beautiful. Mm. Yeah, you have to like break it apart. It's a nice snack, right? Mm -hmm. Nice beautiful. snack. Very I nice. love this stuff. This is pretty popular in Tobago also. So when we go across there, you're going to have Benny sticks. Turn out we have Benny balls. Mm. Keep breaking into it. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Love the sesame seeds. Dude, it's super dense. Mm -hmm. mm. This mm. is really delicious around like Diwali. I think it's like a West Indian cookie. <laughs> cool, right? It's a West Indian cookie. Mm. You get the cardamom inside there, that's elaichi. A little bit of cinnamon also inside there. Some people put vanilla. It's just a great flavor explosion. Nice crisp. Yeah. Don't smell like churros. I got churros. Tell me what you think. Churros slash butter cookie. It's like a butter cookie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Butter cookie. Mmm, not sugar here, huh? Mmm, -hmm. mm, nice cinnamon. Mmm. Really nice, right? Mmm. -hmm. 
Oh, it's amazing. This was like a nice hot chocolate. Yeah, the dip it inside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cup of tea, even. Really great. Wow. Sugar rush, though. Another sugar. Taking this back home. Love mm -hmm. Take it home, please. And you can easily get this anyway in all the supermarkets. Yeah. yeah. Look, at I mean, look at that. Look at that look right at the there. Sugar clusters on top of that. We got the coconut cake. Uh, just basically grated coconuts, unrefined as it may be, mm -hmm. mixed together with spices. A little bit of sugar and packed into a solid cake form, so it's solidified like this. And why is it so pinkish? Coloring. So just coloring? It's just for visual appeal, okay. pretty much. And you know, kids like it. Obviously, we eat with our eyes, and it's always been an island thing <laughs> that we put coloring in a lot of our desserts. It's eye candy. It's eye candy. There you go. <laughs> <Eye candy. laughs> you want to try this? Let's try it. So, it. Bring it in half. Bring a piece. Try that. Thank out. you. Yeah, small pieces, right? This is all sugar rush right here. Mmm. Wow. Oh. Mm hmm. Intense. Intense. So I like the last one more in terms of the, the, the coconut ball. The coconut ball with molasses. The tulum. The tulum. Compared with this. But it's more like a, almost like a Rice Krispie treat. Yeah, it is. In terms of texture, right? Mm. You pretty much would have like a block of this. Gives you a little bit of energy inside there. Puts a smile on your face. Mm -hmm. And this has been around for ages. I mean, this is one of Trinidad and Tobago's oldest sweet delicacy. Mm. Sugar cake. Coconut Super cake, nice. Whatever you call it. It's not as dense as the that little ball with the... Yeah, the molasses, right? The molasses, yeah, it's not it's as soft, dense as that. It's softer. Yeah, it's softer. But uh, this is beautiful. This is definitely a treat. And of course, it comes in different flavors and spices. You can see the specks of cinnamon inside. Mm -hmm. Great stuff. It was really good, right? It was really good. After, Amazing. After everything, you got to have some, something sweet, right? Exactly. And of course, uh, that's what we got here. All the tulum, the benny bowl, the coconut cake, the kerma, the jelly bee. Were you smiling with the jelly bee, right? <laughs> <laughs> I love the jelly bee. It's too good.